Welcome, everybody. Welcome. How's it going? Thank you all for being here. Welcome back. We are live, finally. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be... I'm just going to tell you this right now. <laughs> so much could go wrong with this live stream. This is the most technically advanced live stream I've ever done. Ever. But let's hope it all works. I'm running things in the background. I think it's all starting up. It should be pretty interesting. If you think you know what we're doing today, you don't. All right? You haven't quite heard the entire concept. There's a lot going on. So, what we're going to be doing today, you and me, we're going to be designing homes for Animal Crossing villagers, specifically Animal Crossing NPCs. I got all kinds of cards, amiibos, with all kinds of familiar friends. We have Luna, we have Pascal, we have Rossetti, we have all kinds of people who we can design homes for. Um, and most of them I've not ever designed for in the past. In fact, I've actually designed for porters, so I'm just going to... Anyway, we're going to find some new NPCs to design some homes for. You're going to help me because the way this is going to work, some of you have already been doing it. If you type hire me with, with an exclamation point in chat, all one word, hire me exclamation point, you will be in the running to be one of the designers of these homes. If chosen, your messages will be read out loud. It'll just be you and me working together on designing this home. The way that's going to work is that I'm going to have everything open and you're going to tell me what to do. Should we add a, a, a gym, an exercise gym? Should we give them a swimming pool? Should we remove something that a previous designer wanted in the build? And we're going to work together until we finish a home. <laughs> whatever, whatever we decide is finished. We'll probably do maybe like three or so designers per home because each designer is going to have only five minutes to actually execute their plan. So, you, you know, use your time wisely. I apologize if the audio is going everywhere, by the way. I'm try I've, I've been tweaking a lot of settings. Uh, let me just double check, make sure that everything sounds good on my end. I'm just trying to make sure my microphone's not like too loud, but also not too quiet. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, some of you are getting it. It's normally commands would be the exclamation point at the beginning of them. For this specific one, it's hire me exclamation point. And hire me is one word. And uh, I can tell you that a good handful of people have figured it out. <laughs> I don't have a good read on exactly how many because of the way this is set up. Um, but okay, you'll be chosen at random once we get started. And uh, you'll have five minutes. So does all that make sense? Once we finish a home... We're going to bring in our AI judges, and these judges are rough. They're going to grade our homes on a scale of 1 to 10, and by the end of today, whichever one has the best score wins, all right? So uh, with that in mind, we're going to choose our first NPC. Um, I feel like I should just give you guys a choice between, like, four. I'll, I'll grab four cards, and we'll pick an amiibo. Um, so, I have a lot here. I think I'm going to get, let's see, Grams and Luna. I'll just do the top of the deck, maybe. Pascal, Rossetti. Okay. I'll hold each one up. Okay. And then we'll do the, the poll. Ready? So, we have Rossetti. There we go. Autofocus. You almost got it. There we go. We have Pascal. We have Luna. And finally, very underrated character, Grams. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new poll. And who should we design for first? Okay. Let's get into it. Rams on here. It does seem loud. Luna. Pascal. Seti. All right. There's your poll. Go ahead. Get your votes in. 
I gotta close that thing. There we go. Who's gonna win? Oh, the pole. This is a... <laughs> this is quite the competition. Pascal's winning by a pretty wide margin, but they're moving around quite a bit. About uh, a little more than half of you have voted. Okay. Is it going to be Pascal? Am I hired? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll find out. All right, I think it's gonna be Pascal. 75 votes, that's most of you who were here at the beginning. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll close the poll out and we will design first for Pascal. Yes, get, get your amiibo ready, it says. There we go. Connect with the client. There he is. What's up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want to build me a home? No way, man. My home is the sea. Oh, vacation home. I guess that's a bit different. <laughs> I thought he was going to just reject us straight out. That was, that was it. No more Pascal. <laughs> just burn the amiibo card because he won't be using it. Okay. Oh, that guy. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't... Let's see. I didn't think this through either. Should we do... Let's, where should we put him? We should put him somewhere beachy. Oh, you know what? Let's give him this, like... I've never given anyone this spot before. And since pa Pascal is such, like, a cool character, let's put him here. It is a good-looking spot. I'm going to say... A, I'm going to do a poll for one or two rooms. How many rooms? Remember, maybe we should, because we got to do the outside too. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We got the outside and the inside as it is, so that'll be plenty for our designers to worry about. We'll do one levels. Okay, we're about to pick our first designer. All right. We are ready to choose our first designer. Okay, here we go. Now, the way this is gonna work, you've all been saying, hire me, hire me. We're about to hire our very first one. You'll get five minutes. We're gonna start with the outside of the house, okay? You're gonna get five minutes to design the house. Now, the way this works, just before we get started, you can give me whatever commands you want. So we're gonna be in the building menu. If you want me to make like a specific thing, I would say, you could say like make the house blue or whatever. If you're really, really, really specific though, like, hey, find, like if a very specific item comes up, it's gonna eat into a lot of time because I'm gonna have to find that. So you're better off doing broader suggestions and I'll handle the details. You don't, you're, you know, you're a very busy designer. You don't need to be telling me how to do my job and mi micromanaging me if you don't need to, right? So just be very broad. Like let's let's make him a, a surf shop, right? And then it's like, okay, great. I will go put that together. You can be that broad. Did the game freeze? It shouldn't have frozen. I'm just talking. <laughs> All right. So a lot of you use the hire me command. We're gonna choose our first Designer. I assume they've been chosen. Ah, yes. We have our first designer here. We're going to call him up. It looks like it's... Uh, broken. <laughs> That's not the first design. <laughs> the text is not working. Hold on. Time out. I have the first designer supposed to be Lily Crossing, and the, it looks like the text file broke. All right, that's no problem. Let me just see if I can fix that. 
Boy, I hope this, uh, I hope the other text file works for your messages. All right, is it target? Okay, let's see. User.text. It, it just totally, uh, borked. Do you have a 16 at the end of your name? I don't even, okay, there we go. And the other thing that's interesting is the voice is not coming through. Okay, now try talking. What's it, where's it taking messages from? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? Did your computer break or something? It's something's wrong. It's grabbing like multiple people. That's interesting. Let me restart it. This worked earlier. You'll have to all do hire me again. Unfortunately. Okay. But not yet. Because I got to start it up. Okay. Where is it? I told you. Most technically advanced stream I've ever done. It's going to something's going to go wrong for sure. Okay. It's starting back up. All right, and then we'll grab the stream. We'll tell it what stream is what? All right, go ahead. Yep, you got the hire me commands in there. The only problem is now it's not seeing you guys. Oh, wait, no, because I have I need to change the do. OK. Maybe this will fix it. Instead of hire me, do this. TTS with an exclamation mark. Type TTS exclamation mark to become, to become a designer. Note, if chosen, your messages will be read out loud. Okay. And then I'll pin that to replace the current pinned comment. All right. Now, this could break again. There's no reason it won't, uh, but I, we'll find out, I guess. It did. I promise this worked earlier. I'm going to select a user. Let's see. OK. Okay, the fact that it's just crossing minutes fine. It just thinks that I'm the person. It's just letting anyone have their messages read. Okay, so the the person who's supposed to be chosen is Kina. Let's just test something real quick. So if I change Kina's voice, all right, Kina, can you try to like say something? I 
I'm here. Okay. I am here. Okay. So <laughs> here's what's not working. Uh, what's not working is the text files. The text files are borked. I can't show you guys in text what's being said. But the person who's supposed to have voice controls has voice controls, which is good. That's what we want. So I'm going to roll with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the broken text element for this. And I will let the developer know it didn't quite work out right. And then we'll get started. Sorry, I knew something would go wrong. Okay, so what's not working is the chosen designer, but we can we can edit that ourselves. So instead of it reading from that file that's not working, we can literally just call it the name of the person who there we go. And then the text box that's supposed to be reading the text to speech messages is broken. So we're just going to get rid of that completely. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just going to delete these completely, which feels sad, but I'm doing it. Okay. And then we get rid of this. I set uh, all this up last night. Uh, okay. And then if I hit this button again, our designer element should go away. They should come back. There we go. We called up our designer. It's Kina. Okay. Now, <laughs> Kina's messages will be read out loud. Kina is now our hired designer. Kina, you and I have five minutes to start building out this yard, and then another designer is going to come on board. Okay? So I'm going to start the timer. You're going to go ahead and begin Hello. <laughs> telling me what needs to be done. Uh, so here we go. Oh, boy. We now have five minutes to get this done. So what would you like to do first? We have this entire yard we need to make. Uh, you know, get get it. We need to get a move Palm on. trees. Palm trees. Okay, we can do palm trees. All right. Let's find some palm trees. Do you have, like, a preference as to how many palm trees? Or are we just, you know, I'm just going to start with four. And we'll we'll just get them kind of, like, scattered about. All right. I think this was a good call. Palm trees isn't bad. Um, Palm trees, yellow hibiscus shrubs, and the bamboo lattice fence. This is getting really specific. Okay, so yellow hibiscus shrubs, and then you said a bamboo lattice fence. Okay, I, I don't know where that's going to go, but all right. Which ones are the yellow hibiscus shrubs? Okay, I'm getting really nervous that I'm not going to be able to find these in time. Have I unlocked them? Oh, wait. This is them, so I'm just going to grab like a number of these, and then... That fence you described. Uh, let's just put that. Six max seems good. Okay. Dan, you're passing it. <laughs> I'm trying. All right, I'm going to put these fences like right. Okay, I'm not going to block the entrance. I'm just going to, there we go, like that. And then six of these, uh, I grabbed more than that, I think. These look nice. Yeah, I think this was a good call. And, um, a tiki bar of some sort. Uh, an entire tiki bar. Okay. We have, like, a shrub here that's just, like, not the right one. Okay. All right. A tiki bar of some sort. How am I going to make this? I think if we go to tables, we can find, like, a nice counter or something. Oh, this is giving yes, me a lot of Yes, I anxiety. like. All right. Not six shrubs, six palm trees. Oh, six palm trees. Okay. All right. I can find that. I can find that. Here's two more palm trees. I can't, like... <laughs> it's getting hard to, like, maneuver here. All right. We'll put this there. Uh, I'm trying to get these, like, placed... In a nice fashion. Where should I put this tiki bar? This is terrible. I can't see anything. Oh my gosh. Okay. But four seems good. 
I like this. Okay. I'm going to keep, keep the six I'm pontus. typing in all caps. I'm so sorry. You're fine. It's all good. Uh, let's let's find some good chairs for this. Uh, how, about, how about these pink ones? They look nice. Uh, I think they match the... Uh, well, they don't match anything, but I think they look good. How do we duplicate? What's the duplicate button? We have a minute and 46 seconds left. Anything else? Any quick suggestions before we hire our next designer? I like the bar. Okay, that's Pascal good. Pascal needs the spicy drinks. <laughs> spicy drinks? Uh, I don't know where the duplicate button is. I'm really trying to find it. Maybe it's just... Maybe maybe we just go ahead and grab another one because it's faster than trying to find the duplicate button. All right. Spicy drinks? Uh, what? Uh, blood orange juice might be spicy. And strawberry soda, sure. No, no. This is simple and good. Okay. If you're happy, I'm happy. All right, we have a minute left. We're doing pretty good. We're making good time. This is, uh, it, it needs a bit of tweaking here and there, but I think it's coming together. I'd say we have an extra shrub back here that we can probably put, like, right there. Maybe Next just... designer, remember to add a bathroom. <laughs> Maybe that'll be for the inside. Do you feel like the outside is done? Should the next designer do any more outside, or do you want them to move on to the interior? You, I'll let you decide for them. Well, come on, we have 25 seconds. I think it's pretty good. We never designed the actual house. Like, we didn't do anything to make the the exterior of the house look like anything. Lottie needs bathrooms. <laughs> Inside, outside is done unless they want to change the house. Okay. All right. So, they, we're done. That's time. Okay. Thank you, Kina, for being our first designer. I think that worked out pretty well. Did good. I... That was awesome. All right. So, we're it's now time to hire our next designer. TTS exclamation mark will get you in the pool. I'm going to select a new designer. All right. We have them here. Yay, thank you for having me. I'll be expecting my paycheck. Keen is supposed to not be able to do text to speech anymore, but apparently that hasn't it's not <laughs> removing them from the queue. All right, hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to change this to... All right. We have our next designer. We're going to call him up. Perfect. All right. So, Wisteria Thorn, are you there? Five minutes. To, yeah, it's no time at all, really. We're gonna be moving on to the inside of the house now. Hello. Ah. There we go. Okay, you're here. And then Kina, can you talk again just to see if your messages are still being read out loud? Because if if so, I'll have to reset the program between every designer, which is a little unfortunate. Hello. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's interesting. You're not supposed to be in there anymore. Okay, well, great. <laughs> Talking. You, you seem to just have that ability now. Um, well, I will I will do my best to make sure that doesn't happen. And again, I'll, I'll keep a list of bugs for the, the fixing of this app. So, uh, Wisteria. You, <laughs> I'm trying to kick Don you out. Don trying to kick me out. This is rude. I'm, tr I'm trying to make room for the next designer. You had your chance. And, and you, you made a yard. Okay, Wisteria. It's time for us to work together on the interior of 
this lovely home for Pascal. We gotta add a bathroom for Lottie. Oh, I guess we're starting. All right, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get the timer started. Let me know how big you want the house too, because we can change a the size. A toilet and sink at least. Okay, toilet and sink. So Lottie's gonna want. You're already kind of working ahead of us here, assuming that Lottie is going to look, be looking for bathrooms. I get it. I, I get why you would have caution based on the last live stream. So I'm going to go ahead and just do like a typical toilet here. And what else did you say? Let's see. A toilet and a sink at least. All right. Oh, um, bigger than this. Bigger than this. Okay. I'm trying to find a good sink. I found the toilets pretty easy. Oh, here we go. The plain sink. All right, uh, we can make the room larger. Let's do that. Let's, I like going like eight. Gives us a lot of room to work with without being a little, you know, too much. But if we need to change it, we can change it. All right, so we got a toilet and a sink. Is this is this how you? Is this it? Or we have two four minutes left? Yeah, eight times eight is good. All right, eight by eight room it is. <laughs> so, uh, what else? Any any other? This, right now, Pascal is is good to go with uh, his bathroom. <laughs> Get a little magazine out. Yeah, that's good. Need me to close it off, maybe with some bamboo partitions. I'm guessing that means bamboo partitions. So, all right, uh, yeah, let's find those. I wonder where those are gonna be. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can make them look a little fancier. Um, yeah, the smoke ones are good. I know there's a duplicate button somewhere. It's, uh... Yeah, ZR, there we go, all right, so. Give Pascal a little bit of privacy here. I mean, there's, I would say this privacy is a bit inadequate. I'll keep working on this. You, you keep throwing me suggestions, though. Demands, really. Okay. Bathroom's looking good. You think this is all we need, Mama Cat? <laughs> I see the message about palm tree lamps. It hasn't been read out loud yet. All right. You think in the bathroom palm tree lamp, maybe? Or should it be like, like that? Also some palm tree lamps. Okay, we got those. He needs a kitchen to cook his fish. Okay. Fish kitchen. We can do that. He doesn't seem to care if they're cooked but based on my experience with him, but yeah, sure. Uh, all right, I think the fridge we could we could do a fridge. I mean, we can add. Oh my gosh, we're running out of time. Um, what what do we cook with? Where's the stoves? That's where do they keep the stoves in this thing? Should we just do like a big fish soup, maybe? Or maybe cook some in this oil barrel bathtub? Uh, it's going off the rails a little bit. I have a grill as well, and a smoker. Okay, this might be enough cooking utensils, cooking, uh, cooking devices, rather. I like the lamps like that. Okay, I'll keep the yeah. lamps like that. fish soup. Fish soup. All right, we're going to do a, I'll, I'll just give, I'll, I'll give Pascal all the options, why not? Um, I'll put this over here, and, uh, I'd say that's a pretty, I mean, this is a pretty good amount of ways to cook fish. All right, we have 50 seconds. Any more suggestions? <laughs> this is, um, hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I'm seeing some more commands The kettle in. one. Water Ke floor. Water floor. Sky wall paper. Okay, water floor, sky wallpaper. I might need to put slow mode on, but not because our designer is talking too fast, but I think it's because it's trying to keep up with chat. 
Um, that's not the that's not the water floor. And then sky wallpaper. This looks like that's all we're gonna have time for, unfortunately. Where's the sky wallpaper? All right, that is our time. We'll have to hire another designer. I think this is the sky wallpaper. There we go. Okay. There we are. That was your five minutes. Uh, Wisteria, thank you. I'm going to make a couple tweaks in the back end. You guys will, if don't do it yet, but you will need to do your TTS command again because whenever I get rid of, like, let me see. If Perfect. I, I, I've taken Ms. Wisteria's voice controls thank away. You. you are welcome. Thank you. Um, okay. So, Kina, can you try talking again? And Wisteria, can you talk again? Because I want to see, I've hit remove and I just want to see if that fixed it. If it didn't, I have to restart the app, which is fine. Let's see what happens. I will turn slow mode back on too for five seconds. Okay, I see Keena's message of hello. And it's not being read out loud, but as you saw, the, the app was slowing down a little bit. You deleted them from existence. Hello. Oh, okay. I'll see myself out. All right. So, yeah, I have to restart the app. Okay, no problem. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So, I will close this. I'll close this. It's the first time we're doing this, so things were bound to go wrong. But we're getting close to our first introduction of the judges. All right. I'm going to try one more thing here. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think this will work, but I'm just going to grab a different link for the stream just to see if that changes things at all. Because the link I was using was a bit different than maybe the one I'm supposed to use. Oh, wow. Your TTSs are coming in, which is interesting because a lot of you guys haven't retyped it. It's like remembering. Okay. Well, you could do TTS again, but you may not need to. No, you do need to. You do. Never mind. No, ignore me. You definitely need to. All right. I'll let those come in. I think this next designer is going to be the one that finishes off Pascal's house. And from there, we're going to call in the judges. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of TTSs. So let's go ahead and select our next designer. Right, we have them. And I'm going to change the name in here. Okay. We're calling up our next designer. Who is? Care Bear. Care Bear. You are now Pascal's new designer. You're going to take this thing home. Pun intended. You are going to help us finish this build. Hello, I'm here. All right. Perfect. I'm going to start a five-minute timer, and then it's you and me getting this done. All right? This is it. So, the timer has started. Pascal is waiting. Care Bear, what should we do? Pascal fell asleep <laughs> on the toilet. All right, Care Bear. This is what you have to work with. All right. 
palm trees. Just just palm trees. Okay. Uh, like the lamps? We could do that. You don't you don't feel like we have enough? Where's lighting? Here's lighting. Shell bed. Okay, here's a couple more palm trees. Shell bed. Do we have the shell bed? Um oh, yeah, we do have the shell bed. Let's let's kind of play with the color here. I'll make it ooh, yeah, pearl. Very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna throw the shell bed right here. I'm gonna throw a palm tree lamp maybe over here. And maybe right here. All right, what else? It's looking good. I think the judges will be pleased. It'll be TTS exclamation point if you want to be selected, but I'll have to restart the app again, possibly. Towel. Towel. All right, one towel coming up. Uh, what kind of table should we do? Let's see. Uh, we got a lot of fun little tables here. How about this? This uh, well, yeah, it's not really the right fit. You know, the Nordic low table could be cool. Where's like a blue? Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know what the table's for. Like, is it? Is it like a? Uh, is it for eating at or? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna put it. This will be the dining room. I'll put it there. Maybe I'll go ahead and add a chair too. We have two minutes. Table sorry, LOL. Need oh. some food. Food. Like you personally need food or you want Pascal to have food? We can find some food for Pascal. Uh, the, uh, the previous designer mentioned fish. Is that something you're still interested in? Or do we want to do something else? see what fish meals I have. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff I can't pronounce. Plus this. All right. Here we go. No him. Seafood. Seafood? Okay. So we got, we got that. And then we got this, too. I can't even pronounce it, so it must be good. I'll put that. Can't put it on the fridge. I'll put that right here. So that's, that's a lot of food. Okay. All right, I see your message that says candles. So we could do... Do you want me to do anything? Candles. Candles for candles the Candles for the table. Candles for the table. Okay, I'm going to put this fish right there then. We'll put this this candelabra here. If they're for the table specifically, I'll do this. Do you want me to change the lighting in here at all? It's very bright. I don't mind. We can also just leave it. It just said lights. Okay. So yeah, I was thinking it could we could do something like whoa. We just dim the light a little bit. The way the candles show up a bit better and the palm tree lights show up better. All right, we have 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Lights. You can get rid of the fish on TH3E floor. Okay, I'll I'll do that. But we are done. That was it. Okay, Care Bear, thank you so much. I'm I took away your voice capabilities, but I don't know if it actually worked. <laughs> Hopefully, it did. It looks good. I think it's time to bring in the judges. Few lol. Crap, <laughs> that's still going. 
All right, I'll have to restart the app again. All right, let me do that real quick. And we're going to get the judges in here. Okay. Thank you, Care Bear. Thank you, everybody. Uh, so, our designers are done. You can do TTS as a command again to get into the next pool of designers for the next build. Okay. Quack. So, it is time to let the judges know that we finished the build. And we need to get their take on it. So Pascal has been like on the toilet this entire time. I'm gonna go ahead and give you like free roam of the of the place here. I don't know what the judges are gonna say about this, but we're going to give a description. All right. Now, these judges are going to be ruthless. I'm warning you now, I think we did a fantastic job, but I was hanging out with them a little bit before we started, you know, the competition today and they are they have really 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 high standards, all right? So just beware. Uh, I know you're all looking forward to, you know, helping Pascal take the win home. All right. Here we go. Let me find some appropriate Okay. Something a little better. Sure. All right, judges. It is time for you to evaluate our very first home in the competition. This is the home of Pascal. Several designers worked on it. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Outside, you have some gorgeous palm trees and an exclusive tiki bar. Upon entering the house, you will notice that the floor is pure water. The entire floor, water. To your right is the kitchen with a number of ways to cook. There's a giant kettle for fish soup. There's a smoker for smoked fish. There's a grill for grilled fish. There's even fish waiting for Pascal with a candlelit dinner all set up. In the back corner of the vacation home, you'll be greeted with a bathroom. There is a toilet. There is a sink. Everything you need for, for bathroom stuff and hygiene. And the centerpiece, the talk of the town, is the gorgeous clamshell pearl bed. It's a giant clamshell bed. And Pascal can sleep on it. It's big enough for friends to sleep on it. It's huge. And... There's also palm tree lamps everywhere. So there you go. Judges, give us your thoughts. Okay. Here we go, everybody. The judges are now deliberating. And they have a lot to say. Here we go. First up, Judge Tom Nook. Ah, a tropical paradise indeed. This has certainly been designed with Pascal's affinity for the sea in mind. The water floor, an interesting choice for sure, and the clamshell bed adds an exotic touch to the seafaring theme. The kitchen is more than equipped to satisfy any sea otter's fish-based diet. Very thoughtful. As for the bathroom, it seems to cover the essentials, standard but effective nonetheless. However, the True. lack of a recognizable trash receptacle does dampen my impression of the place. Oh. Yes, yes. Also, the tiki bar outside begged me to question whether there's a parked car nearby. All in all, considering the resale value, I'd give this vacation home a 6.5. The sea theme might attract okay. certain buyers, but lack of trash and the possible presence of a car could reduce its appeal. Ho, ho. As for Digby and Lottie, hmm, they are starting to look rather mouthwatering with their soft, fluffy coats. Yes, yes. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, so Judge Tom Nook has, has given you a 6.5, Pascal, for Pascal's home. All right, designers. Let's see if the next judge beats a 6.5. It's Digby, Judge Digby. Oh, my. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go. Despite Nook's predilection for this home, I'm afraid the safety concerns are rather abundant. Firstly, the water floor section B32 of the Handbook for Housing Safety clearly states that flooring materials must not create a slipping hazard. <laughs> We'd be looking at an immediate violation 4C for an aqua-based floor hazard. Moreover, all these cooking facilities close to the watery floor is a safety nightmare. You have your classic violation 3A for potential fire hazard classic. due to proximity between cooking facilities and flammable elements, such as oil from the fish. Oh dear, <laughs> I feel a rumble in my tummy. Might need to locate the nearest restroom just to finish that one? clamshell bed. Is it properly fastened to the floor? If not, what? then I'd have to invoke violation 2F for unsecure furniture risks and no guardrails to prevent falling out either. Overall, I'm concerned. Ahem, very concerned. Therefore, my score would be, um, a three. Respectfully, Mr. Nook. Wow. Your resale market might be a bit off after these safety violations have been addressed. Eek. Need to run to the, er, bathroom now. Okay. We have one more judge. Digby gave it a three. And apparently we got to fasten the bed to the floor. I don't, does anyone fasten their beds to the floor? Is that like a thing? Is that something I don't understand about beds? All right. One more judge. Judge Lottie. Will Judge Lottie take this thing home for past Well, education? well, let's see here. Despite Digby's rather alarming safety fears, I must say this home has certainly been designed creatively, very in line with Pascal's persona. Having worked with many eccentric clients at Paradise Planning, I can see the vision here. The underwater vibe with the water flooring is unique, though it might have its functional limitations. The clamshell bed is a statement, and the kitchen amenities are well thought out. But yes. uh-oh. Is there no proper separation between the kitchen area and the rest of the house? That's a basic design rule. Break it and you risk incoherent spaces, you see. Oh boy. I'm also wondering if the bathroom is well ventilated. <laughs> Bathrooms need a good exhaust system, else you risk mold and other unpleasantness. <laughs> All these combined, I'd have to give it a 6.8. It embraces Pascal's style, but breaks some fundamental design rules. And Digby, might I remind you not every house requires a moat, dear? Now, if you'll excuse me, this chicken pox cream is making me itch something fierce. <laughs> okay. There you go. The judges have spoken. And now, we got to tally up all the scores. My goodness. Okay. Those are just placeholder scores. Those are not the scores. So, Lottie gave this build a 6.8. That's 608. 6.8. Okay. Digby. Digby gave it a solid three. All right. And Tom Nook gave the build 6.5. All right. So there we go. If we take the score and total it up. We have a th we have 3 plus 6.5 plus 6.8 which equals 16.3. All right. Pascal it's a 16.3. You know what that means, everybody. Pascal is currently in the lead. Our designers did it. And Pascal is winning this competition. Congratulations. Wow. Okay. So, is it going to stay that way, though? That's the question. It's time to make our next vacation home. Let's go ahead and uh, reset here. How do we leave? Do we just, oh, do we have to take a picture? There we go. How do we leave? <laughs> it's ready. Hmm. What do we call it? Uh, I didn't even think of that. 
Um, how about we'll call it slipping hazard. <laughs> yeah, that feels right. <laughs> there it is. We all get to sit back and enjoy a tour of Slipping Hazard now. Great job. Shout out to our designers. We're going to be taking in more. Uh, so I need to get that set up. Go ahead and use TTS exclamation point now to be potentially our next designer for our new client. We're going to need to pick a new client. Let's see who we got here. You know, I, I actually am going to pick the next one. I know who it's going to be. Thirty thousand pokey. Uh, you'll you will need to do the command every time we do a new round of designers. Not that's not how it's supposed to work, but that's just how it has to work. Let's all head somewhere together. No, <laughs> I'm busy. What are you kicking me out of my uniform for? Oh, fifty designs. I didn't even see that. <laughs> I just totally skipped past that celebration. Okay, the next character we are designing for is Grams. Get ready. Grams is completely underrated, and I'm disappointed that she didn't win the poll the first time. A vacation home for me family? Sounds too good to be true. Well, fine. I'm on my way to hear more or owe your tell tale. What? Okay, this is this was a mistake. Who's Grams? I believe Grams is the grandmother of Captain. Okay. I'm going to put Grams like right here in the desert. <laughs> All right, we're doing one level home. Yeah, Captain has a lot of relatives. All right, we're going to build Sweet Little Grams, the best vacation home ever. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and pick our next designer. I'm going to go ahead and hit the button. We have another designer selected. All right. Oops. All right, we're calling them up. Minty. Minty, you are now on call. You are... The first designer, you're going to be helping us build the outside of Graham's lovely vacation home. Yeah, yeah, you're here. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and start the timer, and we can kick things off. Here we go. Minty, what's first? What are we doing for Graham's? Make it storming. Now. Now. 
Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, storming. How do you do that again? So uh, it is the weather button. And we can switch it to storming. There we go. Rain. We got rain. What's next? Poor Grams. All right. Yay, add dead trees. Dead trees. Oh, okay. Interesting choice. I'm, I'm not going to question our professional designers, though. I'm just here to make your vision a reality. Let me find the dead trees. I know they're somewhere. I think they're a customizable or a craftable item. Oh, here we go. Uh, nope, that's the Halloween stuff. Oh, why can't I find these? I know I've crafted them before. Why can't I find the dead trees? Uh, oh, here we go, here we go. I missed them a couple times. Get into this oh, a thwomp too. Yes, spooky tree. All right, we got some dead trees and a thwomp. All right. Um, this is a very uh, eclectic mix of, of uh, furniture. Where the heck is the thwomp? Where do they keep the Mario stuff around here? You did say, I heard you say spooky tree as well. I'll do a couple of those. Um, oh, here we go. A thwomp. I'm going to put the thwomp at the entrance. Just feels like the right place for one. And then uh, I'll throw the spooky tree right here. And we'll put one right here. Oh, that's not working. Uh, let's put the thwomp there. All right. What else? I see a message that says chainsaw, but it hasn't been read out loud yet. I'll try and find that. Chainsaw. Yes. Uh, Yay, do a gazebo. <laughs> a chainsaw and a gazebo. This is quite the combination. Uh, okay, that's fine. Here's the chainsaw. Uh, I'll go ahead and make it uh, blue. And then a gazebo. I wonder where the heck that is. I think that's going to be up here. These are the beds. I think it's... I gotta get better at finding this stuff. Okay, so there's here's the gazebo. There's no room for the gazebo. We have to... We probably have to remove something. Let me just put this tree Fire. Over. <laughs> the delay is making it funny. Sorry. Okay, here's the gazebo. Um, I'm gonna put that right here. I guess that's fine. Um, I'm gonna make it... Because you're just kind of going for like dark and spooky vibes i'll make it rustic uh like rusted out and then you said fire just just the word fire don't remove move the chainsaw i will find you okay i'm not touching the chainsaw all right minty you have one minute left other than fire is there anything else you want to add to the yard i'll, I'll add a few of these because i feel like i'm supposed to i'm gonna get rid of this tree I'm going to have to turn these on myself. Weeds. Weeds? Fire hazard. You want a f you want specifically a fire hazard. Okay. Uh This is like a maze. This is impossible to maneuver. I'm just going to have to call that good. Um okay, so you said weeds. Isn't that in this menu here? No, it's going to be in the uh, shoot. Where, is the, where do they do weeds? Okay, here we go. All right, I've added weeds, and that is your time. Okay. Thank you, Minty. Excellent work. You're the one placing the furniture. 
<laughs> yeah, that's hey, true. Hey, hey. Thank you, thank you. All right. Minty's time as our chosen designer is up. Thank you, Minty. I now need, I think, to just go ahead and reset the app because it has been broken this whole time. So get ready to use the command again in a minute. Here, I'm gonna give you guys a new song. Literally this on the screen what you see now. And it doesn't change. And Cleo is like thinking really hard and he's reading chat and he's okay. trying to make music. You know, and Judy Judy rhymes with fruity and fruity and snooty. Is that something? Fruity booty snooty? Fruity booty snooty. Fruity. Alright. Fruity booty snooty. Fruity. Perfect. So go ahead and do. Oh wait, don't do don't do TTS yet. Okay, now you can do TTS. They can't walk under the thwomp. <laughs> I can, I can fix that. Or does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. We're letting designers all opt in. So the next designer is going to be designing the inside of the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to select somebody new. Who's it going to be? All right, we have our next designer. Our next designer is, I'm gonna hide it from you. Let's call him up. It's Moozle, Moozle. You and I are going to begin designing the inside of Graham's vacation home. So, let's get in there and we'll start the timer. What grandma style lease? I I gave you a baby Please. voice. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Moozle. You have a baby voice. Um, <laughs> I, I think I'll, I'll change the voice for you because it's going to be very distracting for me. All right. OMG. All right. You're good now. <laughs> okay, Moozle. Here, let's start the timer. Are you ready? Let's get into this. All right, Moozle, it's time to design the inside of Graham's vacation home. You're our new designer for the next five minutes. What's it going to be? What would you like to do? Some sort of flower wall and floor. Some sort of flower wall and floor. All right, let's let's yeah, let's start with the floor floors and wallpapers first because that's a good idea. A cozy sofa. A cozy sofa. So we hold on. Let me find the flower. So, okay, chic wall. Flower floor. Is there a flower? I guess these could count. And then a cozy sofa. Keep the room size. Keep the room size. All right. A cozy sofa. Okay, we have some options here. I think the simple sofa is pretty nice. For some reason, we can adjust the legs. I'm gonna make it green. We're just gonna. I'm gonna start stick with these green accents until I'm told to stop. All right, there we go, Moozle. <laughs> it's looking good so far. Uh, this is this is a good vibe for Grams, I think. Come on, Dan, keep up. <laughs> she needs a big old TV. 
big old TV. Does it have to be old? Is it, are you going to just remind her that <laughs> she's old every time she goes to watch TV? Is that the thing? I, I That's fine. I'm not going to judge. Uh, let's... Where is the old? Here we go. Here's the retro TV. You said a big old TV. And old TVs are inherently big. So I think that works. Yeah. Yes, old. <laughs> The mom's tea set on a coffee table. Mom's tea set on a coffee table. Ooh, I like that. All right. Let me get a coffee table. Probably one of these low tables, right? Um, here, we'll do the wooden low table. I'll make it green. And mom's tea set. Your messages are a little delayed. Time is ticking, so feel free to keep going. Um, it'll it'll be delayed, and then it'll catch up. And the ranch furniture for a kitchen. The ranch furniture with for a trash bag for Tom. <laughs> I can't find Mom's tea set. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I cannot find Mom's tea set anywhere. I'm gonna skip to the ranch furniture. I'll try and find it later. Um, okay, where, where the heck is the, oh my gosh. Please tell me I have the ranch furniture. Be better, Dan. I'm sorry. Any tea set will do. Any tea set. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, we have a minute left, or two minutes left. Is there ranch anything in this collection? Okay, here's the ranch cupboard, and you said it was for the kitchen. So I'm going to put that here. Here's what we'll do. We'll put this here. We'll put the coffee table there. All right. And then we have the, well, this will go like over here for the kitchen. Is there a green variant to it? Oh, there is. All right. Um, I'll try and find that tea set. Okay. We're down to our last minute here before we hire a new designer. Why can't I find any of these things? All right. Make the ranch furniture green. I did she that. She will need a bed. Ranch one if you have it. All right, a ranch bed. And then instead of a tea set, I'm just gonna do this classic picture. And then you said a ranch bed. All right. Where are the beds? Ranch bed, if I have it. Here's the ranch bed. We're going to make it green. All right. Oh, you said a trash bag for Tom, too. You can sort alphabetically. Water jug instead of a tea set. Not ideal, but I'll accept it. <laughs> Uh, oh, and then trash bag for Tom, and that is your time. Okay. Whew. Moozle. Good hustle. Look at this place. Great start. Yeah, I'll Good say. Good luck, whoever takes over. <laughs> Thank you, Moozle. Appreciate you. All right. We're going we're gonna to reset for the next designer here. It's looking good so far. Okay. Let's see. Where's my... Yeah, there we go. That works. This is great. I like this house. Okay. We are resetting for our next designer. Um, I'm going to put this over here. Don't do TTS just yet. It's uh, still loading. Okay. Uh, now you can do it. I'll let these come in for a minute. So this will be our last designer before we bring the judges in. 
This house is almost done. It's looking really good. Okay, looks like we got a lot of TTS candidates here. Looking to be hired as our next designer. So I'll go ahead and select our next victim. Oh my goodness, no way. Hold on. There we go. I found the perfect voice for this next designer. All right. Let's call up our next designer, who is Kato. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Kato, welcome. You're going to help us finish this whole thing up. And remember, the judges are picky. So... You, you you guys heard the last Lala. time. <laughs> you you heard what happened last time. So hopefully we can finish this thing up and get everybody everything they need. All right. So we're ready. I'm gonna go ahead and cardboard box nightstand with an alarm clock. Okay. <laughs> Kato has spoken. A cardboard box nightstand with an alarm clock. I can do that. There's some cardboard boxes here, but I don't think these are the same. I guess I think we gotta be in here. Here's the cardboard box. And an alarm clock. Get her a sink and an oven. A sink and an Ranch oven. Ranch furniture if you have it. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so sink, oven, ranch furniture. Here's the alarm clock. I'll try and keep to the green theme. There is no green alarm clock. We'll make it yellow. Um, and what did you say? Uh, a sink and an oven. Okay. What kind of sinks do we have? We I, I only ever have the plain sink. Alright. Here's a sink. A toilet right behind the TV in the corner with a partition of some sort. <laughs> the voice is too good. Um, okay. Yo, hold on. I'm trying to find the oven. I can never, ever find ovens, by the way. Like, the oven is, like, how they categorize these things makes no sense. I know that I could probably do alphabetical, but it's always, like, something oven. It's never just, like, oven. It's, it always has, like, a name. Put a plant between the bed and the couch. You are killing me right now. Just, <laughs> hold on. I'm still trying to find your oven. Okay, here's the oven. Jeez, that took forever. Um, I'm going to put it here. She definitely needs a broom on the wall. Kato, just just, please let me hurry up. No, I'm trying to... Oh, my goodness. Okay, what else did you want? A sink and... A, thank goodness Kato's 100,000 subs. Uh, a toilet right behind the TV in the corner. Like, I could not find these messages in chat if it weren't for the 100K checkmark. Hurry up, Dan. All right, all right, Let right. me cook. <laughs> so uh, I saw a toilet and then a partition. A partition of some kind. All right. Uh, we can do this curtain partition. And then you had said a broom on the wall. Where's the wall brooms? Here we go. We'll put those like behind the trash bags, like right here. Uh, we have a trash bag by the. You want a trash can by the sink too? All right. That'll probably please Tom Nook. Honestly. A trash can by the sink. All right. Pictures trash... on the wall. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so where is the trash can? Here's. Okay, here's a trash can. Pictures on the wall. We have a minute 30 left. Oh my gosh. What, where, okay. Uh, here's some pictures. 
This is a lot of pictures. I didn't mean to click it that many times, but I'll try and make them different. Um, let's just... She deserves the golden toilet. The golden toilet? She also needs the wall bicycle. She's an active grandma. <laughs> okay, wall bicycle. I have no idea where to find that. Uh, okay, there it is, there it is. Okay, hold on. So, wall bicycle. Um, we'll put that here. And then the gold toilet. Where's the uh, plumbing section? All right, so we'll get rid of this toilet. We'll put down the gold toilet. This place became pretty chaotic. Um, <laughs> she also needs the plant still. Oh well, yeah, there's a there's a request for a plant at some point. Um Okay, where did you want the plant? I'll put I'll I'll put this one down. You said something by the TV, I think. Like here? All right. 15 seconds. Did I get everything? I got the wall broom. That was over there. Okay. And if you have time, give her all the gold trophies on the wall. Like the bug one and fossil one. Unfortunately, that was all the time. Whew. My goodness. This place became um, crowded. <laughs> all right. Well, great job, designers. We're about to bring in the judges. Go ahead and Go. kiss. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I don't need that. All right. Great job, designers. So, it's time to bring in the judges. Let's go ahead. Let's get rid of our designer stuff here. And we are going to tell the judges about the build. Okay, we've got to remember the outside had dead trees, is a desert with dead trees, weeds, fire, all that stuff. And then inside, I will describe it as we walk, walk through. All right? Are we ready? Here we go. Judges, the next house is from Graham's. This is Graham's vacation home. Let me tell you a little bit about it. First, outside, a desert, a stark, bleak desert. It's currently raining in this desert, and there's dead trees everywhere. The landscape is on fire. There's also weeds all over the place. Once you walk inside, though, the vibe is completely different. Imagine this, a floral pattern wallpaper, gorgeous green hardwood floors, and throughout the house, a lot of different green accents. Grams is currently sitting, enjoying a nice pitcher of tea in front of her old television. She has a bike on the wall because she's very active. She has a plant by the TV. This plant is to help separate the living room from the bathroom, which is just basically a curtain with a golden toilet. Yes, Grams has a golden toilet. The plant helps with all the smells. Speaking of smells, let's move on to the kitchen where there is some really nice classy ranch furniture, a stove, a sink, and there's two different places for trash. There's a trash can and then full trash bags hanging, or the trash bags are just underneath hanging brooms to clean up all the messes. Grams is doing a really good job cleaning. She just hasn't had time to take the trash out because of all the rain. Finally, we get to the bedroom where there is a nice ranch bed a cardboard box, nightstand, and an alarm clock. And on the walls, tons and tons of pictures. Lots of framed pictures. So, there it is. Judges, it's time to give your assessment. Okay. Here we go. I do not know how this is going to go. <laughs> it was a very long description. All right. Tom Nook is cooking. He is about to come up and give his thoughts on this house. Let's see what he has to say. 
Oh, this home teeters on the edge of chaos and order. <laughs> Outside, the blazing landscape and unchecked weeds would certainly discourage most potential buyers, and that can affect resale value significantly. However, the stark contrast once you step inside is intriguing. Graham's use of rich green accents and wallpaper displays a keen eye for design, and I'm thrilled to see not one but two proper accommodations for trash, very hygienic, Graham. A golden toilet does add a hint of luxury, even if it's rather eccentrically placed. Yet, I'm not entirely sold on the ranch furniture in the kitchen, and numerous pictures on the wall could veer into clutter territory. Uh -oh. Still, I have to admit, it's a unique property, and I think it could fetch an interesting price on the market if managed right. I'd give it a 7.3, ho-ho. Wow. And must I say Digby and Lottie are somehow looking tastier by the minute, especially after that depressing desert tour. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. All right. So Tom Nook scores a 7.3. The next judge is Digby. Let's see what Digby has to say. Oh dear, where to start with this one? First off, the blazing landscape outside presents both a violation 8A for fire hazard in immediate vicinity and violation 3C for inappropriate climate control. Oh boy. The rain isn't quite making the cut to put out those fires, I'm afraid. Inside, <laughs> climate the bike control. secured on the wall rings alarm bells for unstable decor violation 5F. <sighs> what if it falls on someone? Now with the golden toilet, while glamorous, don't get me started on the health violation 6B for inadequate bathroom privacy. This could definitely lead to some uncomfortable situations. And as for the trash hanging under the broom, seems like an accident risk violation Hang. 7D waiting to happen if ever I saw one. Respectfully, Mr. Nook, I believe you're overrating this property slightly given these Ooh. glaring issues. I'd give it a nervous 4.2 and excuse me while I dash towards the restroom. My tummy is doing somersaults right now. Oh my, and... Wow. Shade thrown at Mr. Nook. Okay. There's only one more judge left. 4.2? Was that it? Oh, man. Here we go. What does Judge Lottie think? Ah, uh, it certainly seems like Graham's home stands as a beacon of comfort amid the chaos outside. The warm, inviting interiors contrast well with the harsh exterior, creating an intriguing narrative, no doubt. The thoughtful incorporation of green accents adds a fresh touch, bringing yes. some much-needed liveliness to the house. Lottie gets the it. The curtain for the bathroom, however, lacking a solid wall, raises a bit of a concern. Could you clarify if Graham has a separate private bathroom space, dear? <laughs> because if not, a severe point deduction would be necessary. Let's not overlook the value of privacy and functionality. The two trash spaces show an understanding of practical home living, and the wall-mounted bike adds a unique character to the space. But too many pictures on the wall could risk creating visual clutter. Given it all, if we are assuming a well-structured bathroom space, I'd score this homely creation at a 7.1. Oh, and speaking of comfort, Digby, maybe you should offer some to others instead of hogging up all the bathroom space, dear. Now if- Oh. <laughs> Lottie got cut off. Okay. Wow. Really uh, rough ratings there. My goodness. So, let's go to the judge panel. First up was Tom Nook. And Tom Nook gave this 7.3. Oops. All right. Digby with a score of 4.2. And Lottie with an astounding 7.1. So there it is. Grams, a total of Let's do the math here. 4.2 plus 7.3 plus 7.1 is, look at that, guys. 
18.6. We have a new leader on the scoreboard. It's Graham's designers. You did a fantastic job. You killed it. You absolutely killed it. 18.6 for Graham's. Look at that. Okay. So let's go ahead. We'll get our photo. And we will tell Grams that we're done. I guess we have to remove Grams from the uh, sofa. It's ready. The theme. Oh, uh, phew, uh, green. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh, there we go. Green trash house. Green trash house. Okay. <laughs> we are gearing up for our next property. Well, gra well, green and trash were mainstays of the build, so... I thought those would be fitting... Oh, look, the whole family's here! Look at that! I had something covering the screen. I didn't see. <laughs> look, look at them all. There's not enough room for all them. <laughs> That's absolutely crowded. Okay. So, we're going to pick between... Four new characters. Put up a poll. I always take thirty thousand pokey. Okay. So, let me get this poll up. We have some new choices. Who is our next client? Oh, oops. Right. And actually, hold on. I, I'm going to switch out one of these cards. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got some very interesting choices. <laughs> okay, your choices are for our next client DJ KK, LaBelle, Luna, and Booker. All right. Yes, we actually have a DJ KK Amiibo card. Come on. There it is. We have LaBelle. We have Luna. And finally, Booker. Completely forgotten. Underrated. No one ever thinks of poor Booker. DJ KK is winning. Luna's in second. I'll leave the poll up for a little bit. Good number of you have not had a chance to vote.
Letting the votes come in. Booker, oh wow, look at that. You guys saw the Booker card and thought, well, actually. Booker's adorable, by the way. Like, I'm kind of surprised Booker didn't have a role in this Animal Crossing. Look at, look at that face. Look at that. Tell me you don't want Booker to have a nice vacation home. Come on. 75 votes. There's 182 of you right now. We can turn this around for poor Booker. Am I influencing the vote? Yes. Is it fair? No. Please vote for Booker anyway. Look at Booker. Look at him. Come on. I don't think you can change your answer once you voted. You can try. I wouldn't stop you. It's just YouTube system. Oh my gosh, it's tied between KK and Booker. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? Oh, it's so close. Look at that. <laughs> uh, just to be fair, I'll leave it up for a little bit longer. You can vote on mobile too. Wow, 37% now. I really influenced that one. I'm not I'm not sorry. <laughs> Waiting for Booker to win. No, I'm I'm leaving it in case DJ KK pulls up again. Okay. I think Booker wins. I think we're I think we're designing for Booker. 100 votes. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Booker is our next client. I didn't cheat. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen Booker in New Horizons form before. I never expected anyone to offer me a vacation home like this. Do you see? Do you see what we've done for Booker? <laughs> look how look how perpetually sad he looks. And he's like, I never expected anyone to want to give me a vacation home. Look at that. You guys did that. He's so excited. All right. Let's just hope our designers do right by Booker. Where should we put Booker? Let's give Booker a private island. I'm going to give Booker the very first uh, place I did, which is this uh, very, very private island. No one's going to disturb you, Booker. Oh, I you were supposed to be... Okay, sorry. I screwed up your TTS opt-in. Okay, we are now accepting TTS opt-ins. Sorry about that. And if you've already gone, please uh, let somebody else go. This is my vacation home. It's even better than I imagined. You're uh, pretty good at this. <laughs> I didn't do anything. All right. It's time to call upon our next designer. So a bunch of you put TTS in the chat there. It looks like the list has a good amount of people. Anyone else before I hit select? Anyone else want to do it? If if you did it before, you may need to do it again because just a, a couple minutes ago, I, did I start the new list? Next time we do this, I'll make sure that it doesn't have to be reset every time. Okay. Just in case. All right. I'm going to select our next designer. All right. I have them here.
Are we ready to meet Booker's designer? Our first designer for the outside area is Lisar O2. Lisar O2, you are now on call. You are Booker's designer for this job. We're going to be focused first on the outside of Booker's vacation home. So we're about to start the timer. I hope you're ready. You have five minutes as your reign. Hello. Hello. Your reign begins now. Your reign of terror, potentially. Uh, let's go ahead, get into design mode here. What is first? What are we doing for Booker? Booker's the best. I'm so glad that we chose this villager. I'll, I'll give you a sec. I see the message. Plam trees around. All right. I'll do six because I learned the hard way last time we did palm trees and I didn't do enough. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll put these around. What else? Palm trees fill in the area so nice too. Maybe do something like this. Yeah, that looks good, I think. Little seating area for coffee. Little seating area. I like that. That sounds nice. Okay. So for, uh, let's see. For this, I think what we'll do is put down maybe a little table in the middle. How about the small cafe table? It's It's for coffee. So like the cafe table and a couple of chairs maybe. What kind of chairs we could put? Eh. No. What kind of chairs could we do? How about the simple chairs? We'll do... I'll do these blue ones. Blue chairs with blue cushions. And then I will change the color of the table as well. Got anything else for uh, Booker here? Change the house to a shack. A shack? Okay, the first time someone's asked us to change the actual house. Uh, so I will do that. Let's, we'll do that for now. We'll change the house to a shack. Which one's the shack? I think I gotta play with these walls here. What makes it look like a shack? Is it this one with different walls? No. I think it might be this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We could we could do something like like this. Let's fix up the door. Okay. I'm gonna keep it like that for now. Maybe I'll put some coffee on the table while I wait for our next uh, directive here. It's supposed to be an outdoor seating area for coffee specifically. Are there coffees? something. Actually, the coffee cups are really easy to find. Oh, yeah, here we go. Add some flowers. Flowers. And a nice path to the table. A path to the table? I like that. Okay, okay. So, um, let's start with the path, because I know how to do that. So, I'm going to go from the house to the table. I'm going to do something like that for now, I guess. And then you said flowers. I'll do some blue flowers to tie in those chairs. All right, we got a minute left. It's looking pretty good. What else? I'm trying to see if uh, Lisa said anything else that hasn't been read out loud yet. 
Uh, let's see, 30 seconds left. I, I see the shrubs message. Some shrubs. Got shrubs? Lighting if time. Lighting if time. Uh, I'll just, I'll do this. And that's it. There's, ooh, that looks nice. There's your time. All right. Lisa, great job. This looks amazing. Thank you so much for helping us design the outside of Booker's house. We will focus now with another designer on the inside next. So let's go ahead and reset for our next designer. Okay. So, if you want to be the designer, the first designer for the inside of Booker's house, go ahead and do TTS exclamation mark now. And we will get set up inside the house here. Don't forget, uh, you can ask to change the size of the room, the lighting, things like that. If you keep your description of what you want kind of general rather than specific it'll be easier for me because as you can see i have a lot of trouble finding stuff so if it's a specific item like oh they get the ranch bed so it's a hit or miss whether or not i'll be able to find it i will do my best but it could eat into your time By the way, before we give this new designer, I just want to remind you that the judges have scored two other builds so far. This will be their third one. And Grams is currently in the lead with 18.6. So the designers who helped build Grams' property are patting themselves on the back right now. They are in the lead. Yeah, once one spamming the command won't really do much. Uh, once is enough. But I do reset it every between every designer so you every designer you would, would be doing it again and next time we do this you won't have to do that but it's broken so i'm sorry uh okay cool i'm gonna pick our next designer which is there we go um i'm gonna give them this voice random voice here i'm going to type out their name oops Our next designer is on call, and their name is Lily Crossing. Lily Crossing 16. You are our next designer. You were helping design the first phase of Booker's interior. So let's go ahead. We'll start up some, uh, some music here. I was looking for that one earlier, and I couldn't find it. Um, oh, and, heck. Oh, heck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, heck, yeah. Okay, I thought, I thought you were distressed. I'm starting your timer in five, four, three, two, one. Your timer is now going. You have five minutes to help us design Booker's house. What is first? What are we doing? We have a blank canvas on our hands. Booker is looking rather sad to see it so empty. All right. What do donut we table. A donut table? Oh, you mean like a table and put donuts on it. Okay. I feel like I feel like you're making fun of of Booker with this uh, decision, but you know what? It's fine. I'm not going to it's it's not my it's not my place to judge. Let's let's find some donuts. Are there donuts? There's No, other... I'm not. <laughs> That was weird. Uh, I'm trying to find. There's bread. There's pizza. There's fish. Wait a minute. There's cookies. We got some desserts here. Pretzels. There's got to be donuts. Pancakes. Oh, my gosh. There's no donuts. What, what else? I could do a basket full of bread, which is kind of the same thing. 
I'm gonna do that in place of the donuts. He loves it. All right, that song's annoying. All right, there we the go. The tab where you find the tools is where the donuts. The tab where you find the tools. Which one is that? Um. Oh, like these tools. Oh, the donuts. Right, I see. Yes. Oh, uh, chocolate donut. Okay, here we go. So, all right, I'll put this chocolate donut right here. <laughs> Table of donuts. Perfect. I wish it, they were like in a in a group. But uh, yeah, I now I know what you're talking about. Okay, cool. So one single donut for Booker on a table, as requested. Um, is there anything else you want to do? Uh, you have two minutes and 45 seconds left. Let's see. I need to get into the furniture menu. I'm trying to find this ahead of the message here. All right. So I see the ironwood bed message. So I've placed that. Ironwood bed. Got it. And make it six by eight. Make the room six by eight. Okay, six by eight. There we go. Kind of a, a donut hallway we got here. Okay. Looking good. And a bathroom so Lottie doesn't get mad. <laughs> and a bathroom so Lottie doesn't get mad. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I'll throw in a toilet. I'll throw in the cleaning supplies for the toilet. Why not? I'll do a shower as well. Booker's clapping. Booker's also happy about this turn of events. I'm going to put... Actually, the toilet should go in the corner. The shower should probably go here. Toilet clean supplies can go... Well, I'll put that here. The shower there. Or could it... Maybe... Hold on. We have 53 seconds. I'm trying to give your bathroom some walls. Okay. Is this... That doesn't... Nothing fits. I meant 8 by 6. You meant 8 Make by 6. Make the room blue. Blue and 8 by 6. Okay, hold on, hold on. So 8 by 6. That's going to make the bathroom a lot easier, except I just destroyed the toilet. And then make the room blue. Okay. Uh, I must have blue wallpaper somewhere. Uh, there's this one. Or that tarp wall. Or is there must be a better one. How about... This looks fancy. And then is there a blue floor anywhere? There's this. Or how about this? Okay. Okay, the time is up. I'm gonna fix, the, I, I screwed something up, so I'm gonna fix the toilet. But that is your time. Thank you, Lily Crossing. Great job. Okay, put the toilet here. Clean supplies he <laughs> shoot. When you try to put the bathroom in a separate room, it does not work. I'm going to put the donut table back here. And then the bed. We lost the bed. Okay. Welp, that was my time. Good luck, all. You might need it with these judges. You, yes, you will definitely need it with these judges. Thank you, Lily Crossing. We'll reset for the next designer. Get ready to do your TTS command in a moment. Okay. Not yet.
Okay, here we go. If you'd like to be our next designer, go ahead and do exclamation point TTS. And we'll get you in the, the pool here. Time goes by fast. So Booger's house is uh, looking good, I think. <laughs> right? Is someone's definition of good? Okay. All right, I'm about to choose our next designer. <laughs> yes, admins can design too, absolutely. Any mods who want to get in on it, please do. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and hit the button. We have our next designer chosen. I'm going to put their name here. And let's call them up. Bunny. Bunny, you are our next designer. So, Booker's house. A lot of free space here. What are we going to do? I'm going to start your timer. Hi. Hi. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, Bunny, what are we doing? Blank-ish canvas. There's not a whole lot here. We got a bathroom. We have a bedroom. Cityscape accent wall. Cityscape accent wall. That's a nice choice. I'm going to put it over there, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go down to the animated walls. Should be one of these. There we go. He seems to like that. Well, they're they all girl voices. I can I, I can change it to a guy voice too. I have a whole bunch, and I'm just like very quickly choosing. Rug under bead. Rug. I'm assuming you meant under bed. So let's go ahead and find the rugs. Uh, I will do a three by three blue rug like that. looking good bed ventilation fan on bathroom wall okay all right all right that's a good that's a good call we did get dinged for that at one point i think so i'm gonna put that like right above the toilet there we go i mean with a diet of of just donut i think the ventilation fan will be helpful See what else designer bunny would like us to do. Ceiling lights. Long horizontal bar one. Oh. Uh you must mean this one. The fluorescent light. Okay. Um interesting choice. So yeah, we could put we could put those around. Oh, the bathroom wall is kind of messing my, my pattern up. How about that? Yeah, there we go. Wall iron shelves above bed. Oh. I iron wardrobe. Iron wardrobe and wall iron shelves above the bed. All right. So we have the iron wall rack. So we can maybe put like a couple of those there and then you sit on iron wardrobe. I think you meant the iron wood wardrobe. Where is it? I see ironwood cupboard. 
Oh my goodness. Why? I'm in the wardrobe tab and there's no. There's this one. I thought there was an ironwood wardrobe. There's a dresser. Well, I'll just put this. Coat rack. A coat rack. Scroll up, it's black. Okay, uh, coat rack. I wonder where the coat rack is. Oh boy. Yeah, that one. Okay, I found the stereo. Right. A stereo and a coat rack. The coat rack is almost impossible to find. I might actually have to try alphabetical. Here, let's do it. No. We are messing this up really bad. I can't find the coat rack anywhere. I must not have it. Mini fridge. And trash bags for Tom. Mini fridge, so I'm gonna skip to the stereo. And then the mini fridge. So, okay, mini fridge. Um, trash bags. I know I'm doing this out of order. Oh, we're out of time. Shoot. Okay. Well, we are well and good out of time there. So, all right. Well, I'll just put that here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bunny. I let you down. I know if you could fire me, you would. Thank you for all of your effort here. Booker's home is ready for the judges. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I messed up real bad. Great job. Thank you. I know you're just saying that to be nice. Okay. So we will go ahead. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> Finding stuff is the hard part. It's awful. All right. I'm going to reset for the next designer. And then we'll call in the judges. So... I'm just getting the TTS stuff reset now, so I have it up for next time. Okay, it is now monitoring chat again, so you can go ahead and put in for TTS if you haven't done so uh, already. If you've done it in the past, go ahead and leave room for somebody new. Let's get ready to talk to the judges. Okay. So... Booker. Booker's got a nice setup, both inside and out. Very blue. And then outside, there's a place for coffee and some shrubs and some trees. So, okay. I can do this. I'll try to keep the description a little shorter this time because I think the longer my description is, the longer their judgments are. And they keep getting cut off. <laughs> so, uh, we'll go ahead and just try and keep it quick. Judges, the designers have been hard at work making a vacation home for Booker, the police dog. Now, outside the house is a lovely dirt path going from the house to a nice private area to enjoy some coffee. You'll also see some palm trees and shrubs and flowers as well. When you get inside the house, you'll notice there's blue everywhere, blue floor, blue wall. On your left, you'll see the open concept bathroom with a toilet, some clean supplies, a shower, and proper ventilation. In the top corner, what you could call the dining room. There is a table with a single donut on it. The bedroom has a nice bed and some shelves for storage and a clothing closet. And finally, the kitchen consists of exactly one mini fridge. Judges, what say you? Okay, everybody. It's time. It's time to get our judgments from the judges. That's what they do. They are judges. First up is Tom Nook. Judge Tom Nook. Always looking for the best resale value. 
Well, well, it sounds like this home has an interesting mix of elements. The dirt path leading to a coffee sipping spot is a comforting touch, definitely appeals to my entrepreneurial senses, ho ho. However, the overwhelming dominance of blue everywhere might narrow down the buyer pool. The open concept bathroom, a delicate balance to maintain, although the presence of cleaning supplies reassures me of hygienic upkeep, I wonder whether it has a robust trash disposal system or not. Booker being a police dog, having a donut definitely adds a comedic touch to the ambiance. <laughs> and I'm assuming the mini fridge is well stocked. Yet one must always remain careful about the dangers of oversimplification. Yes, yes, considering these details and the resale value, I'd score Booker's vacation home a solid 6.7. Okay. Digby and Lottie, your opinions are certainly valuable, or shall I say, deliciously insightful. Ho ho, the tension is building, or is that just my stomach? Oh, oh my god. It's getting really unsettling. Um, <laughs> okay, so Tom Nook with a 6.7. Digby's up next. Let's see what Digby thinks of Booker's new vacation home. Oh my, an open concept bathroom? That's an immediate violation 7A oh. for lack of bathroom privacy, I'm afraid. <laughs> A toilet out in the open could lead to some rather awkward situations. <laughs> and the donut left out on the table. It's certainly a tempting treat, but it's attracting ants. That would be a food safety violation 3B. <laughs> However, the use of blue is very calming, okay. and the proper ventilation in the bathroom is a plus. I suppose Booker's a police dog and wouldn't mind the relative simplicity, but the mini fridge in the kitchen might limit his culinary possibilities. True. We're also looking at a possible trip hazard 5C if that path outside isn't properly lit at night. <laughs> Considering these factors, um, excuse me, I seem to be experiencing some digestive distress. <laughs> But yes, considering these factors, I'd give it a shaky 4.7. No offense to Mr. Nook, of course, but we do need to consider practicalities, don't we? Wow. It's throwing shade at Tom Nook. All right. There's one more designer. Designer Lottie will determine your fate. A seasoned professional herself. Lottie knows a good design when she sees one. Here we go. Here comes Lottie. Well, it does sound like this home has been designed with a practical eye. The coffee spot outside enriches outdoor living. Very nice. The consistent blue tone inside offers a soothing environment. Good for a police dog like Booker after a hard day at work. But Digby, precious dear, I must point out that the open concept bathroom is far from the ideal design. Where's the privacy in that? A bathroom should be a separate room to maintain a proper living standard. And a one mini fridge kitchen. There certainly isn't much scope for variation in meals, now is there? <laughs> with these factors, coupled with, oh, the chicken pox itches, with these factors, I'd give Booker's home a 5.2. Surely, you don't want Booker to relive his dog pound days, do you, Digby? Uh, wow, we're assuming Booker was raised in a pound. Okay. There it is. The judges have spoken. So... Let's start with Tom Nook, who gave the home a 6.7 out of 10. Then we had Digby. Digby with a 4.7 out of 10. And finally, Lottie. Lottie coming in with a 5.2 out of 10. We total it up. 4.7 6.7 The total is Ooh. sixteen point six for Booker. Unfortunately, that is second place. And Booker will not have the nicest vacation home. The judges have spoken, but that's okay. There'll be another opportunity. All right, let's take our photo. Uh, let's do that. Let's let them know it's done. You worked really hard in this place. Thank you so much. We all did. You spent so much time decorating a place. That makes me really happy. 
That reminds me, is there a theme for my vacation home? If there is, I'd like to hear it. Um, okay. Donut. Donut. Hmm. That fits. I um, like it. <laughs> All right. If you would like to be the next designer for the next person we are designing for, you can do TTS exclamation point in chat if you haven't already. Um, let's go ahead and get our next batch of designers ready. Or clients, I should say. Okay. Booker's so happy. I'd be happy if you came to visit again. Oh, he's so lonely. That's what happens when Nintendo doesn't include villagers in games. They, <laughs> they just want your attention. They just want some love. I'll take 30,000 Pokey. All right. I'm going to give you guys a choice. Put up a new poll. This is going to be a very interesting vote, I think. Your choices are... Let's see. Who is our next... Client. Okay. And here we go. Let's start the poll. Your choices are Brewster, Nico, Wilbur, or Timmy. Timmy of Timmy and Tommy. So here's your here's your Brewster card. And then we got Nico. I don't even know if we can design for Nico, to be honest. We're going to try. We got Wilbur. We got Timmy. Brewster is winning by a lot. I kind of figured that might happen. I should have traded Brewster out for somebody else. I'm there's like a five percent chance I've already designed a home for him. I'm gonna let the votes come in for a little bit longer though. I I expected Timmy to do better to be honest. <laughs> How many more? I don't know. I guess it depends. I'm going to let the poll stay up for just a little bit longer. Collect a couple more votes, but I think it's Brewster. I think it's Brewster, like, comfortably. All right. I guess I must have a lot of ideas for Brewster as your client there. Brewster takes it. Let's connect with Brewster. If I've already designed for him, I'll have to pick someone else, unfortunately. I think Nico is second. We could just jump straight to Nico. How can I help you? A vacation home, you say? Uh, that set my feathers a flutter for a moment there. Very well, I shall come... Bye to hear what you have to say. All right. I have to force the vacation home upon them. They, they never 
treat it like, oh, I've been like waiting. I've been on the waiting list forever. They're always like, oh, you want to make me a vacation home? Okay, I don't really need that, but uh, sure. Okay. Where shall we put Brewster? Should we give Brewster the city? Uh, yeah, this one's always really cool. One floor or two. Let's just do one. All right. We're about to pick our next designer. We start with the outside. This seems nice. No complaints for me. I await your design. Okay. So, we're picking our next designer. It's going to be... All right. Here. Uh, someone asked why it was all feminine voices. So, this one probably won't be. And then... Go ahead. All right. Our next designer is Direwolf. Direwolf, thank you so much for joining our uh, our cause here. We're trying to build vacation homes for very, very famous NPCs. So you're going to have five minutes to help us design the outside of Brewster's vacation home. I'm at your service. Go ahead and lean on me. I can handle it. And we'll go ahead. We'll get started. Me. Yes, you. All right. Here we go. I'm starting the timer in five, four, three, two. All right, Direwolf. What is your first request? See what we got. Move house to NW corner. Uh, all righty. Shove that over here. Northwest corner. So far, so good. Um, it's, you know, a lot of room now for who knows what. Um, I can put Brewster maybe in this corner here to just kind of see things a little bit better pretty tall. He comes like right up to the cliff here. Look how tall Brewster is. Make a coffee plant farm three by four plants. Interesting. Okay. Coffee plant farm. Three by four coffee plant farm. Uh, all right. Let's see. So these are the plants. Here is the coffee plant. All right. One, two, three. I'll do... Add a couple of farm thingies. And, and farm thingies. You got it. Um, Let's see. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab these. I'm just going to spread these out a little bit better. Okay. A couple of farm thingies. We can do that. I think. Um, oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We can do a, a tractor. I like how I chose a city and immediately we build a farm. Gotta be other farm stuff, right? Lighting. What are we farm thingies? Like what? What else? They don't make it easy to find stuff in here. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Scarecrow. Um. Oh, here we go. Yeah, windmill. Handcart. 
All right, yeah, so we can put the windmill back here. I'll put a scarecrow like over here. Hand cart back here. Flowers on first level. Fencing flowers. along southern edge. Okay, all right. So flowers on the first level. Um, I'm just going to do a few random different... I'm not really picking anything intentionally here. So we just got, you know, a couple things. When you say fencing on the southern edge, I'm assuming you mean up on the cliff. Okay. Fencing. Let's see here. What fence should we use? How about this one? Bamboo slat looks cool. All right. Enough farm thingies. Second level fence, yes. Okay, so we got our farm thingies. Apparently we have enough. We got our fence. i go ahead and recolor some things while I wait for the next. We have 45 seconds. Tractor blue. I'll make the handcart black. Scarecrow there. Okay, this is pretty nice. It's like those games that both kids they're supposed to write instructions on how to make a sandwich. It'll never be good enough uh, directions. The person does it all on does it all wrong. Oh, make the house dark blue. I see that. Okay. Make house dark brown. Two dark. large trees in yard. Dark brown. Okay. Uh, there's that. Dark brown house. Uh, and then two large trees in yard. That is your time. I'm going to say I probably can't do the trees because I think I ran out of time while I was doing the house. But it looks pretty cool. I like this. Okay. Thank you so much to Direwolf for your awesome design skills. We'll go ahead. We'll reset for the next designer who's going to be doing the interior or the first phase of the interior. Okay, we're resetting the app, so you will need to do TTS again, but not yet. Okay, now you can type in TTS exclamation point and you can get in potentially for being our next designer. If you've already been a designer, please leave room for somebody new. All right, we got a blank canvas here. I think the coffee plant farm is a really smart idea. Letting everyone get their TTS requests in. Give it some time. How excited Brewster is. You only need to do the TTS once per me saying now it's time to do your TTS request, so please don't spam it. It doesn't count for more than once. Okay. Let's go ahead and select a new designer. All right, got them here. 
I'm going to get them on the phone. Oh, well, first I got to put their name on the thing. All right, our next designer is Reem M. You are now on call as Brewster's first interior designer out of two. You will be responsible for helping us hopefully get Brewster in the lead in this competition. That's me. Yes, it is you. All right. So uh, why don't we go ahead and start our countdown here? We have five minutes on the clock, starting in five Four, three, two, one. All right. What are Make we Make the adding? room larger. Make the room larger. You got it. We'll go ahead and go to... I think I'll do eight by eight for now. Let's told otherwise. I always feel like that's a good size to start with. All right, so far so good. Plenty of room for all the- Make a nice book nook in the corner with a fireplace and coffee table. Oh. And of course, coffee mug. Okay, that's gonna take me a minute. So let's see, uh, fireplace should be probably down here somewhere. Really keep that stuff. Maybe a bookshelf as well. Okay, I got fires, but- no Add a carpet under the coffee table too. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm getting overwhelmed. So, uh, about that fireplace. I don't know where they keep that stuff. Where, uh, alphabet, let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, all right. Here it is, here it is. All right, so we got a fireplace. We need a coffee table. Um, which is going to be up here. I think I'll do my, my simple low table again. It's pretty nice. Uh, we're going to put a rug underneath the table. I don't know what kind I should do. Let's just do this for now. I'll, I'll change some colors and things if I have time. A, probably a bookshelf of some kind, right? It's supposed to be a book nook. Where do you suppose that is? Probably over here. Nice big tall items. Oh, come on. Books, please. How do I not have any books? There's gotta be a bookshelf somewhere. Oh, this is so anxiety-inducing. I'm letting everybody down. Hold on. Okay, we need to... Okay, move that stuff there. Move the table or th that there. I'm just going to start with, like, the sofas. Hopefully, we'll come across the bookshelf. Maybe I'll do alphabetical again. What's up with the other shelves? Why didn't I see it? Okay, there's gotta be a, come on. Make a small enclosed bathroom for privacy with hot tub. After this, smiley face. Okay. I, I, even alphabetical, like I just could not find the bookshelf ever. It's supposed to be up here. I, I have this, like this filing cabinet looks like it has books in it. I wasted like all the time looking for a stupid bookshelf. I hate this. Uh, let's just okay. Hold on. We need we need like a sofa for the book nook. How about here? I'll do you one better. Massage chairs, and then you said a nice private enclosed bathroom. That seemed to be important to you that the bathroom had some privacy. I get it. Um, so we'll go ahead. I'm gonna put it over here. All right. Put this pillar there. And then we'll go back to, to here. We'll go to plumbing. We'll 
find a toilet. You said a hot tub as well. How about how about uh, the 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 square bathtub? It always looks like it's piping hot. Oh gosh, it's too it's way too big. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, this is fine. And then the massage chair should probably face in. Here's your books. All right, Reem, I did my best. I I feel like I really messed up. Living I, room with TV and couch. It's too late. You're out of time. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Okay. Whew. Reem, thank you. It was fun. I'm I'm sorry. I made so many terrible choices. <laughs> okay, I will reset for the next designer. Oops. Okay. Stand by. And for anyone who's just getting here from, uh, you know, if you've been here for a few minutes, this TTS command thing in the future, if we do this, you won't need to keep typing it over and over again throughout the stream. It'll be like a one and done. But uh, for now, you can now type in TTS exclamation mark if you would like to be the next designer here for Brewster. And uh, if you've already designed, please leave room for someone else. Give it some time here. <laughs> you guys want Wilbo in there? I would like to see what kind of chaos Wilbo causes, but I'll keep it random. All right, I'm hitting select user. Okay, we have our next designer. All right, here we go. Our next designer is Busy the Gamer Mom. Busy, it's up to you to help us finish Brewster's home, which is in need of a lot of help. I messed up really bad with this one. So you're gonna have to pick up the pieces a little bit. You have a big job ahead of you. It currently features a private bathroom and hot tub. A reading nook complete with very expensive massage chairs, a fireplace, and some old textbooks or something. And that's pretty much it. So, in five, four, three, two, one, your time has begun. You have five minutes to make this house a home. Let's see what we get. Seeing your message here, so I'm just gonna get started. We need to rotate these. All right, why isn't it talking? Oh, you know what? It's because of the voice. I didn't choose a voice. Sorry. Okay, you now have a voice. Um, okay, so first you said we need a kitchen counter with a coffee maker. I will find a coffee maker. Coffee mugs on the table. Okay. Uh, coffee maker is going to be... I can do this and this. And then you said coffee mugs for the table. In fact, I'll do, I'll do a couple different types. We'll do this. And I'll change the color of one of these mugs. Okay, that's good enough. All right.
strengths. Any coffee maker you can find. We did get a we got a coffee maker. We got this to grind up the beans. And we got some coffee in the book nook. I'd say it's coming together. So far, so good. Let's see what else Busy has in store for Brewster. Don't you think he's sick of coffee? All right. Trash can in the kitchen. Good idea. Good idea. Let's see if I can find a little one. Something, something a little more elegant than the giant trash cans we've been using. Um, a little waste bin. I'm not finding it. Maybe I should just go for the big trash can. Dark brown walls and cream flooring. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with. Uh, this garbage bin and then you said dark brown walls dark brown walls how about this with cream flooring cream flooring what would what would count as cream flooring would it be like like that i think that would maybe count this is looking pretty nice Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move this table up a little bit and the massage chairs up. And I can put the can trash can here, all right. You think it's a recycling bin? Well, maybe Brewster recycles. All right, we have a minute, 20 seconds left. That works. All right. Couch for small living room area. Couch for small living room area. All right, so we're making a new, so the book nook is separate, I'm assuming, from this living room area. So we're gonna find a couch for this living room, a new small living room area. How about this vintage sofa? Keep it red. Oops. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think this is good. I think we can walk into the bathroom from there. He can sleep in a massage chair. Yeah, yeah. He Newspapers doesn't... need to be somewhere. Newspapers. Okay, I think it'll be the last thing because we are out of time. Oh, wait, I found him, I found him, I found him. All right, I put him by the door. He, he's been, he collected them recently and they're by the door. That is your time. Busy, excellent work. I feel like you really saved this build. So thank you so much and congratulations. So it's now time to call upon our judges. Oh, first I'm resetting for the next build we do. Okay. All right. You can use your TTS commands now if you want, and that'll be for the next person we design for. Um, but we are getting ready to call the judges for this design. It's really crappy photos. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's time to bring in the judges. I gotta be quick. So what was outside? I don't remember what was outside. Oh, it was the coffee farm. 
Can you mention how safe the room is? I should probably slip in something about safety, considering that uh, that is kind of what Digby's looking for. All right, here we go. I think this the, the safest place is the bathroom for sure. All right, here we go. Judges, designers have been hard at work and it's time for yet another build. Today, we're looking at Brewster's vacation home. Now, outside Brewster's house, you can't help but notice the giant coffee farm with all kinds of cool things, including a tractor and a scarecrow to make sure the coffee beans don't get eaten by stupid birds. It's awesome. There's flowers. And then when you walk inside the home, it is so warm and cozy. There's a book nook with mismatched table, fireplace, and book counter thing. And it's full of textbooks. So a lot of reading material, very dense reading material. There's two massage chairs that double as beds because there is actually no place to sleep in this house. There's a kitchen that is equipped for making coffee and nothing else. There's a living room that features one sofa and... The safest room in the entire house is the private enclosed bathroom featuring a giant, gorgeous hot tub and, of course, a toilet. So, judges, now that you've heard everything, what do you think? Okay, everybody. It's time. First up will be Tom Nook. Here he comes. Let's see what Tom Nook has to say about Brewster's place. Oh dear, a coffee farm outside the house, you say? A fascinating feature indeed might add to the uniqueness of the property. Yes. But the presence of a tractor. Oh no, no, <sighs> no. I do appreciate well-groomed landscapes, but a vehicle close to the property isn't pleasing for me. Inside the house, the warm and cozy feel is quite captivating, I must admit. Yet I see red flags in some areas. No proper sleeping arrangements. What if Brewster has an overnight guest and a kitchen designed for coffee only? As delightful as coffee is, one cannot survive on it alone. Yes, yes. The bathroom sounds splendid though. Considering the resale value, I'm afraid the lack of sleeping quarters and a comprehensive kitchen will bring down the overall score to a five. My, those massage chairs sure do remind me of the plushness of Lottie and Digby's fur today. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So Tom Nook thinks the count the the massage chairs look plush, and he gave you a five. <laughs> All right, Digby's next. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> well, I must say this setup sounds like a delight for all coffee lovers out there. But as a safety inspector, I'm seeing numerous red flags. No. First of all, the presence of a tractor in close proximity of the living area is a clear violation of Section 8B of the Housing Safety Code for Potential Vehicle Hazard. Right. Furthermore, the lack of a dedicated sleep area brings Title 9A into play. That's a safety breach for inadequate sleeping facilities. And the fact the kitchen solely focuses on making coffee indicates a nutrition necessities non-compliance, Code 3C. Yikes. The private enclosed bathroom with a hot tub is a soothing feature. But is there any anti-slip mat? If not, that's a notorious slip trip fall hazard. Dang it. Violation 5D. Considering all these potential safety risks, I must award this property a 3.9, I'm afraid. Ouch. Sorry, Mr. Nook. We do have guidelines to follow. Oh boy, talking of following. I should follow my gut instinct and locate the nearest restroom quickly. <laughs> okay, so Digby's out of here in a hurry. All right, Digby gave us a 3.9 for Brewster's house. It's not looking good for Brewster. Can Lottie turn it around? Here we go. Well, it does sound like this home has been designed with a practical eye. The coffee yes. spot outside enriches outdoor living. Very nice. The consistent blue tone inside offers a soothing environment. Good for a police dog like Booker after a hard day at work. No, it's Brewster. But Digby, precious dear, I must point out that the open concept bathroom is far from the ideal No, design. this is the... Where's no. the privacy in that? A bathroom should be a separate room to maintain a proper living standard. And a one mini fridge kitchen. There certainly isn't much scope for variation Lottie, in meals. Lottie, it's the wrong house. There. With these factors coupled with... 
Oh, the chicken pox itches. With these factors, I'd give Booker's home a 5.2. No! Surely you don't want Booker to relive his dog pound days, do you, Digby? Lottie went to the wrong house. We have to send it. I'm sorry. The score counts. It's a 5.2 for Brewster's house and an open concept bathroom. And <laughs> oh, wow. The judges have spoken. We'll leave Lottie's at the 5.2 that it's at because, yeah, that works. Um, Digby gave us a 3.9. Lottie got bad directions. I'm sorry. Tom Nook. Tom Nook with. Where is the score? Oh. Now, uh, listen, Lottie's score, <laughs> for all we know, would have been worse if she went to the right property. She got stuck at Booker's. I'm sorry. Sometimes stuff goes wrong. It happens. But let's total these up. We got 5 plus 5.2 plus 3.9. Oh, ouch. It's a 14.1. My goodness. That is last place for Brewster. I'm so sorry. Whew. But it's okay. We have another chance. We have another chance to make this right. <sighs> it's going to be okay. finish up here and we will find our next designer we'll find our next client we can make up for this uh we're gonna call this one <laughs> bookers second home I mean, you can come here for some coffee to wash down the donut. Masterful name. See? All that matters is what the bird thinks. All right. We got to pick a new client. Quack. It is time to pick a new client. All right, I'm going to mix this up a little bit. So let's see here. I'm trying to find somebody new to throw in the pile. We're gonna bring back some, some old favorites too. How about... Mix it up here. We'll do a poll. Who is our next client? All right, we have four secret clients, but I'm not telling you just yet. Should genuinely be interesting to see who wins this. Uh, there's one I'm pretty sure will get last place, but that's okay. So let's start the poll. You have. Your choices are DJ KK, who almost won last time he was on the poll. You have Cyrus of recent Cyrus. You have Luna, whose card I can't pick up. And you have Nico, once again. The results are wild. I have no idea who's going to win this. I did figure Cyrus would get last place. I'm going to keep the poll running for a minute. Just 
gearing up for the next uh, contestant here. A lot of campaigning for uh, DJ KK at the moment. But Luna, ah, wow. Luna's actually winning. Look at that. Let's see, 75 votes. I'll, I'll keep it up for just a little bit longer, but I don't think, unless a lot of you just suddenly start voting for, like, DJ KK or Nico, I don't think Luna's going to be dethroned here. I think it is going to definitely be Luna. <laughs> Team Cyrus. Poor Cyrus. No one no one wants to give Cyrus a vacation home. Okay. It looks like Luna's gonna win. Put away the pole. Let's call her in. Maybe if he gets a vacation, he will customize my stuff faster. <laughs> Angela, thank you for the super. Appreciate it. All right. Yes, uh, your TTS commands have been coming in for a bit now, so that's already set up. That's been set up for a minute. So we'll be picking our next designer. Where are we going to put Luna? Can you put someone on this island? Like, why is it letting me select the middle? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I'm going to put Luna in this frozen tundra. My <laughs> You're voting for Wilbo? Okay. It is time to find our next designer. Nico's earmuffs are hilarious. Okay. I'm selecting our next designer. It's going to be... Someone who I'm keeping secret. So I can type it out. All right. We'll call them in. Our next designer is... Sproutsy Sprout! It is time for you to take charge here. We're going to be designing the outside of Luna's house first. Sproutsy. All right, Sproutsy. I'm going to start your timer. Let's, let's just make sure they're here. I didn't prep for winter. <laughs> I think you could change the season. Um, It's not reading your messages. Give me a minute. I want to start the timer, but I'm not hearing it read the messages. This is a test message. Okay, the voice works. Why aren't your messages coming through? I feel like they're all gonna like come in at once. I might have to redo the thing. Come on. You can talk. You can do it. It's not letting... It's not letting it... Uh, I don't know. It's not reading out your messages. I don't know what's going on. Let me try to select you manually. All right, now try talking. Oh, well, hold on. All right, now try talking. Talky talk. All right, that should come through. If it doesn't, I'll have to restart the app and 
I think what we'll do is we'll just say, we'll have Sproutsy do the command, and then I'll just pick manually. Yeah, I think I gotta restart it. All right, I'm gonna restart it. Sorry. Just uh, <laughs> give me a minute. Okay, uh, not yet. Okay, so enter the link. All right, Sproutsy, go ahead and do TTS exclamation point. As long as you're one of the first ones to do it, I can easily find you and then I can select you manually. Okay. Let's see if it pops in there. It might be like, something's, something's off. I don't know what's going on. Come on, did it, hmm. How come it's like mega broken? Yeah, it it ripped hard. I don't know what's going on. Let me, okay, sorry. I'm gonna restart it one more time. What do I do if it doesn't work? stream I'm hitting the button let it load for a second and then we'll need I'm worried it's just not working um, we'll need Sproutsy to do another the timer isn't started yet because I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with this thing Sproutsy can you try to do TTS again I'm sorry I still don't think it's working because usually it does a thing when it loads up and it's just not doing it I didn't ever start the timer Okay. All right. Don't worry. We have a backup backup plan. Although this should work. It's it's really weird that it's not. Let me try one more thing. Stand by, stand by. I'm only going to give this one more shot. I just moved something around here. Well, I don't think the app has a limit. I think what it would be... If anything is a limit, it's the voices it's set themselves, but that's not... That should still let us connect. That's the thing. Uh, okay, I'm trying one more time. I'll just try myself, put myself in here. Oh, it's busted. Okay, don't worry, we have a backup plan. Don't worry. Where where computers fail us, there are humans. Here, I'll go ahead and give give you something to listen to. Literally this on the screen, what you see now, and it doesn't change. And Cleo is like thinking really hard, and he's reading chat, and he's trying to make music. You know, and Judy, Judy rhymes with fruity and booty and snooty. Is that something? Fruity booty snooty. Fruity booty snooty. Then 
Okay. Want to give me a test? Testing, one, two, three. Okay, excellent. So, Val is here in the background. She's going to help us. We're bringing in a professional. Okay, so, Sproutsy, Val is going to be your voice. You still have, you're still going to have a five-minute timer for this. She's going to help you out. I got you, Sproutsy. Okay. All right, is everybody ready? Okay. The timer is starting now. Sproutsy, I didn't see anything you said before, so we're starting fresh. We are designing the outside of Luna's house. So, what is your vision? Tell us everything. Set to evening golden hour. Okay. We can do that. Uh, that should be about here-ish. That's not, that's not working. That, that's not golden hour at all. Um, is that about here? That's golden hour. Okay. Looking good. Add a fire fit, hammock, and bucket of water next to the fire pit. We're going to guess it's fire pit. So fire, so add a fire pit. Uh, where do they keep that stuff? Fire pit. This is going to be one of those. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. Fire pit. You said hammock. Go back up to beds here. Okay. Give you a paradise planning hammock. Uh, a bucket of water next to the fire. Oh, we're thinking about safety. That's a good call. That is a good call. I will make sure to call that out to Digby. If I can find the bucket. I know there's going to be a bucket somewhere. There's water fountains. Uh-oh. I might have to improvise so we can move on to the next thing. Uh, I'm going to have to improvise. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait. We got to go into here. That's where the bucket would be, right? Because it sits on top of stuff. Yeah, here we go. Bucket of water. Okay. Whew. Okay, fire pit. Hammock. Festival garland lining the front fence. Stone path to the front door. Uh, okay. Festival garden. Garland. Where do they keep that? Festival garland? Fence off all water. <laughs> no one's falling in the river. Fence in all the water. Uh, I can't find the festival garland or whatever. I'm trying. It must be. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a uh, fun rainbow color here, and I'm gonna put it alongside the fence, lining the front fence, stone path to the front door. Okay. Snow people on left side. Snow people on left side here. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do the path. Okay. Path is looking good. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Um, Festival Garland, Stone Path, Fence Off All Water, which I never did. So we got to do that real quick. I'm going to put these fences. Festival lamps lining the path to the house. Festival lamps. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We should be right there. 
Because we have the garland. Except it's probably they're probably small. Right? Oh shoot, come on. Are they not small? Oh, did I screw this up? I Change feel... house to stone round one green with pink roof. We have 30 seconds. I'm just going to do that. Um, stone. So change it to the round one. Uh, stone round one green pink roof. Green. Green pink roof. What does that even mean? Okay. Something like that. All right. Oh, we ran out of time, pretty much. Um, green walls. Green walls? That's I'll, okay. All right, we'll do that. Okay, we did it. Sproutsy. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You did an excellent job. Okay. Now, to choose the next designer, I, I uh, well, here's what we'll do. Hold on. So let me get rid of this. I can reset the app again to at least choose randomly. And then maybe it works too, but I, I'm, I've i lost all hope. <laughs> uh, so give me a moment here. We'll get it restarted. Uh, great work, Sproutsy. It came out awesome. Oh, I think it's getting people again. All right, we'll we'll try this out. Maybe we can give Val a break. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna we're gonna be designing the interior now. So yeah, do your do your TTS commands. This might actually work. I, I love the way the outside came out. I wish I could have done all the suggestions because Sproutsy really like had a vision there and I completely dropped the ball. It is seeing that you guys are typing the TTS command again, which is good. That means it might actually work when we start it again. Okay, here we go. I'm selecting somebody. All right. I have our next participant. I'm going to put their name in here. And we will call up Ellie Cat, Ellie Cat, I hope this works. Say hello. You'll be designing the first phase of Luna's interior. O works too. Let's see if that picks it up. O H. O H. I'll take it. <laughs> Yay. Hello. All right. Val, thank you for your help. And we will move on to using a computer voice again. All right, Ellie. So here's how this is going to work. You get five minutes to tell me what to put a -H, in here. I need to think of a design. Y yes. <laughs> yes, you did. You did submit this. So you, this, you asked to be a part of it. <laughs> so don't worry. You get to start the design. Someone else has to finish what you start. So it's, it's okay. All right. Is everybody ready? Especially Ellie Cat. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and... Start. I didn't expect to win, LOL. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> All right. We're going to start the timer. Um, here we go. All right. Ellie Cat, you have five minutes. What are we doing? We have a blank canvas here. Luna's waiting. All right. U-H-H-H, -H -H, yes. <laughs> Big bed, cozy carpet under bed. 
Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's see. You got the. You got. You're getting the hang of it. A big bed. We can do that. Let's find a nice big bed. How about this fancy, elegant bed? And you said a a nice big, a carpet underneath the bed. All right. So I'm just gonna put that in the center of the room. It is Luna after all. And we'll find a good carpet for underneath the bed. How about this simple medium purple mat? And then we can change the color of the bed. All right. Looking good. I see the next all caps message there. Um, let's see what we can find here. Fancy light. I always thought the spiral chandelier was a fancy light. Okay. Fancy light hanging from ceiling. Got it. A N N D D U H H wooden flooring. And okay. a, a starry wallpaper, if you have that. I'm guessing you mean starry. Uh, there's a few different wooden floors. I, this is my favorite one, so I'm just going to choose that to be selfish. And you said a starry wallpaper? should have that. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty nice. Is there a color theme? Uh, I've just been winging it. it. It didn't come out very good, the colors I've been choosing. Especially the starry wall. All right, we still got three minutes, so we got time. Let's see, nice cozy chair. This would be a nice cozy. Nice cozy chair. What do we think? And put a toilet in the corner. <laughs> just, just a corner toilet. Uh, I'm trying to find a cozy chair. Maybe this one's. These ones are pr pretty cozy usually. Do like maybe you do chic. I'll just I'll do that like here, and then you said toilet in the corner. All right. Um, how about this toilet <laughs> in the corner? We don't have room for a bathroom. I can... Side tables. And candles. Side tables. Okay. Also, turn the light off. Okay, turn the light off. Side tables. Oh, what am I going to do for side tables? Um, and candles, you said? I gotta, come on, we got to have some good side tables somewhere. I don't want to let you down. Okay, I'm going to do... Choose something. Just choose anything. Literally any table. Literally pick any. Here we go. Side tables and candles. There's a lighting section. And choose a couple candles. There we go. They knew exactly where to go. Okay. Put a partition of some sort to separate the toilet from the bedroom area. Not wall walls are boring. Okay, walls are boring, so you want a partition of some kind. Um, how about the plant partition? You said partition of some kind. I'm going to wing it here and assume you're cool with the plant partition because it is a partition, and I think I think it's tall enough to where it will, like, it will mask... Oh, yes, plants will make it smell nice. Yes, exactly. And it'll mask, like, the, the sensitive part, at least, right? So that's good. Um, and, yeah, the plants will make it smell nice. All right. Try to see. Th two, three, two, one. That's your time. All right. Hey. I think this came out really good. And you can use poop for fertilizer. Put that a dreamy plushy shelf somewhere. Ah, yay. I use poop for fertilizer. 
Okay. All right, Ellie Cat. Um, hey, this looks awesome. Very well done. Now, that was phase one. We have another designer that's going to step in and take this the rest of the way. So, Ellie Cat, take a bow. Thank you so much. DDD. <laughs> um, we're going to see. I doubt this thing fixed itself. Can you try talking one more time? It's, you're probably still selected, even though I told it to not select you anymore. I'm afraid to reset, reset it now because of the problems we had before. But maybe that fit that it threw earlier fixed it, but I doubt it. Oops. Okay, so yay. That's Evelyn. Ellie doesn't want to say anything else. I was trying to see if Ellie was going to send another message. My guess is it's still connected. My name starts with the same letter. Yeah, it's... it's. <laughs> Oops, Ellie's... hi, sorry. I was checking Discord. Oh, okay, no problem. All right, so I have to reset the app. I hope it doesn't crash again. Oops. Okay. Okay, it's booting up. You require payment. Well, hopefully we can win. You you did a good job. And then the outside also took into account a lot of safety features. So like this could be a good one. This could be the one. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and do TTS. Get yourself on the list. We're picking the next designer. This designer will finish the interior for Luna and ultimately be responsible probably for whatever score the judges end up giving the home. So a lot of pressure. This is not for the faint of heart. Who will be our next designer? Make the house perfect or else. <laughs> All right, I'm letting some more TTSs come in. If you submitted earlier, it's gone. You'll need to submit again. Every time we reset, your submissions have to be put in one more time. But you don't need to spam it. It only takes it once anyway. And if you've already designed today, please don't submit so someone else can have a chance. A few more come in. Okay. All right, I'm going to choose. Here we go. Try and get uh, someone we haven't heard before. Your character looks like Wilbo. I know. Wilbo stole my look. All right. Uh, we have our next designer on standby here. Okay. The next designer taking over and helping us finish Luna's house is... Jalen Suarez. Jalen, are you here and are you ready? We're going to start your timer. OH. OH. That must mean you're here. All right, in a few seconds, we're going to start the timer. You'll have five minutes to help us finish Luna's house. And hopefully, we finally have a winner on our hands. You stole our names for the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I did do that. It's funny that you all showed up, too. <laughs> Cleo, Cato, and Wilbo all showed up. 
I thought about just calling it calling him viewer, but then I'm like, that's boring. You could sue me, I suppose. Yes. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Jalen, you're on. It's time to design Luna's house. There's a lot going on here. Add cute plushies and a shelf. Cute plushies and a shelf. I can handle that. I can absolutely handle that because I know where that stuff is. Uh, a shelf. Um. Okay, this is a shelf. There's also the plushie shelf. But I'll, I'll let's see. We can go red. It's not red. Uh, okay. And then I can add the plushy shelf, the dreamy. Oh, no room for anything. Um, okay, hang on. I can do the dreamy shelf too, because that has plushies in it. And then we can add the plushies themselves somewhere. Yeah, here we go. All right, that's looking good. Now, now I've covered. We're covered in plushies. We got plushies everywhere. Keep an eye out for our next message. It's getting uh, <laughs> crowded in here. There's always things we can do about that. I think Jalen just wanted plushies. That was it. It's like uh, plushies are will sell this thing. That's all you need. <laughs> I I relinquish my three minutes. I'm a welcome mat at the entrance. Oh, okay, yeah, we can do that. Uh, what do we got? got? Some fun stuff here. There's the rough rug. I'm trying to find something that kind of simple pink bath mat, but I'm just trying to get more pink things because I've put pink other things. So yeah, we'll do that. That can help with slips too. Amanda, I'm glad to hear the audio is doing well because I did a lot of tweaking with this last night. This whole setup's different than what I usually do. All right, Jalen. Well, you got a couple minutes left. We can we can do other stuff. We hang stuff on the walls. And Whoa. a painting on a wall. There you go. Yeah. Good idea. I wonder what kind of painting we should do. Here's the. Let's see. We got villagers. We got we got the artwork paintings, and then we have like. I'm gonna do maybe this one, the fancy frame above the bed. Ooh, yeah, definitely that. Oh, you said artwork. Okay, I can do that too. Oops. Let's put this one. Can you even see what it is? Maybe put uh, this one. That one there. Yeah, okay. We got a minute left. I artwork. See. Got artwork. I'm a mini fridge cows you not. Okay, mini fridge. Let's see. Uh, there's a section with a fridge on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Colors do these come in? Oh wow. Um, okay, we'll do pink. Maybe this should replace one of the end tables. I don't know. I don't want to make take too many liberties, but I, I don't know where to put this. I'm gonna put it right there by the bathroom. Yeah, I think that's good. It's like the bathroom fridge. I think it's a good idea. 
All right. Well, I think that's basically time for uh, Jalen. A toilet by your refrigerator or a refrigerator by your toilet. It's a skincare fridge. <laughs> All right, Jalen, thank you so much. It was an honor. Jalen's time is done, and that means Luna's house is done. So, it's now time to introduce this concept to the judges. So, the judges need to know that the outside has a fire pit with a bucket of water nearby. They need to know that it's the, the, the outside is, well, I'll just say it's well lit. We never put the lights around the path, but we did put the festive garlands, and those have lights on them. And then inside we'll say that there's a bathroom with a privacy plant. Okay. All right. We got the fridge. We got plushies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is good. All right. Here we go. Judges, the next vacation home we're looking at, designers have been hard at work, and they've just finished Luna's vacation home. Here's how it works. As soon as you enter the property outside, there's a gorgeous stone path. Everything is nice and well lit. In the distance, you notice a fire pit. And next to this fire pit, a bucket of water for safety. The fences surrounding the property block off the river so nobody can fall in, which is also great. Once you get inside, you'll be in a dimly lit room. A pink bath mat welcomes you into the home. On your right, the bathroom with courtesy private privacy plant to make sure that no one can see you make. There's a mini fridge that kind of teeters between the bathroom and the rest of the home. But don't worry, this is a skincare fridge. There's no food in it. On your left is a cozy sofa. There's also a shelf full of plushies. There's artwork on the walls, some of it even stolen from a museum. There's also a giant bed with really nice cozy candlelight and a fancy chandelier hanging over it as well. All in all, the starry night sky wall and the soft wood floors make this a perfect home for Luna, wouldn't you say? Okay, that description was longer than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. All right, the judges are deliberating. First up will be Tom Nook. Rather interesting, isn't it? I can appreciate the effort to blend indoor and outdoor spaces with proper safety measures, of course. The dimly lit rooms and starry night sky walls certainly align with Luna's penchant for the dreamlike ambiance. Though I must express a morsel of concern regarding the artwork of dubious origins could prove troublesome for resale purposes. No. The private privacy plant is a humorous touch, yet failing to provide a clearly demarcated bathroom space might not sit well with some potential buyers. Ah. No trash bins spotted, I presume? Hmm, that's a pity. Given these observations, I'd say a fair score for Luna's home would be a 6.6. .6. Yes, yes, color okay. me intrigued. As much as I am by the succulent texture of Digby and Lottie's lovely fur, ho ho! Why is my either fur so bad? All right, a 6.6 .6 from Tom. So much to feed him. All right, Digby's next. Digby's all that safety, but I mentioned the bucket of water. That should help. And the fences for the river? No one can fall in? Well, I must admit the outside does seem quite safe with the fenced off river and well lit surroundings. Exactly. Fire pit safety precautions. I appreciate that. Yes. However, the inside conditions concern me. A bath mat right at the entrance triggers safety ordinance 2.3, trip hazard from poorly placed objects. Oh, come on. The teetering mini fridge could easily violate safety code 5.4, risk of falling heavy objects. Oh, no, it's not teetering and like that. And while private privacy plant might provide a unique touch, it flouts Personal Privacy Act 1.6 for not providing adequate fencing around bathroom facilities. Fencing. Lastly, stolen artwork infringes legal safety regulation 7.2, possession of illegally procured items. Despite Mr. Nook's enthusiasm, considering these safety missteps, I must give this home a sobering 3.8. Yikes. Also, please excuse me. It appears my dinner wants to make an unforeseen exit. <laughs> okay. There is one more. It's Lottie. What does Lottie have to say? Will Lottie bring the score up? Could Luna win? Have we done it? 
Well, Digby, you've painted a lovely picture, but I must say this property raises certain questions. Firstly, the outside appears satisfying, but the moment we step inside, the issues begin. No. A dimly lit room might work for Luna's astral theme, but overall it limits visibility and functionality. Okay, Not that's true. Not always suitable for daily living. Yeah. Then there's this mini fridge, which regardless of its content, teetering between the bathroom and the rest of the home, <laughs> it disrupts the flow of the space. <laughs> As for the bathroom, it, while the private privacy does. plant might be a fun addition, is it really a substitute for a proper partition? Lack of privacy can decrease comfort significantly. I do love the cozy sofa corner and the starry night sky wall. They yeah. add a dreamy touch, yet stolen artwork isn't very ethical now, is it? No. Considering all of this, I would give this home a 6.0 on the scale. Now pardon me while I scratch my chicken pox. Sure itches today. <sighs> all right. The judges have spoken. Just gonna take a picture. The judges have spoken. All right. First up was Tom Nook with a score of 6.6 .6 out of 10. Next, we had Digby. Digby with a sobering, he said. 3.8 out of 10. And then Lottie. With a ruthless 6.0 out of 10. Bringing the total score for Luna's home. Oh, sorry. That's my template. To a whopping 16.4 points so close but didn't quite make it Whew. that's a shame ouch ouch indeed okay guys listen all right uh you have one final chance to impress these judges, okay? One more client is waiting. You know how this works, right? You're Tom Nook. He's obviously very hungry. He's all about resale value. There's some ethics in there I wasn't expecting with the, the paintings. I thought stolen art would bring the value up. He considered it a problem. Digby, again, all about safety. Just have safety measures. Just lots of safety measures, and you'll be good. Don't put fridges teetering on the edge of walls or whatever. And Lottie. Lottie's a designer by trade. You're not going to get anything past her, okay? But as long as you include a bathroom, that should automatically give you a few points. So we can do this. We can make a new first place winner. All right? One final client. Okay, let's first get out of here. What should we call it? All right, we'll call it Dark. Um. Uh, how about dark bathroom? with bed. She's going to love it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Dark bathroom with bed. <laughs> <laughs> Teetering in the dark. All right. You wish you understood how it works? So we're choosing designers from chat. They get five minutes to tell me what to do to make a design happen. After we've done three designs and we finish a build, the judges come in and give their final assessment. We're trying to get somebody to win big. And this is our last chance. Our final client is going to be the final boss of all of Animal Crossing. It's Tom Nook. Yes! You are designing a home for none other than Tom Nook himself. A judge in this very competition. And he's so excited to see what you come up with. Is it a conflict of interest? Absolutely. Are we going to fail? Probably. Will it be hilarious? It, maybe. All right. I'm going to put him in the mountains up here so he can't hurt anybody. Are you giving one level home? I gotta get the text speech ready. All right. Go ahead and get in your TTS commands. I'm worried it's not going to work again. Mm. Oh, it's working. Thank goodness. Okay. The first designer will do the outside of the house, while the next two designers will help us with the inside. So if you would like to be that first designer, go ahead and now put in TTS exclamation point. If you put it in earlier, it got erased, so you'll need to do it again, but only once, like per time I say this whole spiel. Remember, this is the final boss. Did mine count? Um, if you, yes. Uh, you did all caps. Try one without all caps, just in case. I can't, it only lets me scroll so far. It's probably in there somewhere. Right. Let's go ahead and select our next designer. All right. I have the next designer. I'm ready to bring them in. We'll now call upon Bagel. Bagel, congratulations. You will now be helping design Tom Nook's yard. You'll have five minutes to do this. Me by your side, trying to make sure I execute all of your commands as, as the lead designer on this project. I'm just 
doing my best. Let's make sure Bagel's here. All right, I see Bagel already saying stuff. Okay, let's start with fences on the water. All right, your time starts now then. Thank you, Bagel. Fences along the water. Good call. I'll go ahead and use these ones. Okay. Why is it not letting me move that? Flowers with orange and red. I like someone who knows what kind of flowers they like. Okay, hold on. I got these these little stupid weed things keep getting in the way. Go away. Okay. And delete this fence. It's it's really being finicky. Okay. Uh You said flowers with orange and red. All right, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. Three minutes, 40 seconds. Garden iron bench and garden iron table and sure colored green. Ooh, okay. So iron garden bench and table green colored. So there we go. Vines on the cliff side. Ooh, okay. So bench table and chair, you said. All right, where is that chair? I'll do a couple chairs. So I'll put this bench here. I'll put the flowers down here, remove these weeds. We'll put the, the table and chairs down here. And then vines on the cliff, we can do that. Okay. There we go. What else we got? It's looking pretty nice. Coconut drink and book on table. Garden okay. facet by house. Coconut drink and then book by the table. Book. We just have to put the book on. Oh, what if we did the stack of books? And then we said garden faucet by the house. Water stuff. Where do you suppose that is? You would think it'd be here with the water stuff, but it's not. Don't worry, it'll be somewhere. Garbage can. Yes. One tree of choice and flowers fill the cliff. Okay. <laughs> uh... I'll try to, I'll try to get you the uh, garbage can, for sure. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. What was the other stuff you wanted? Oh my gosh, where's anything? Just a garbage can. Where is it? I'll take a garbage can. That's gonna help. I can't find a single thing. I'm so lost. I literally hate these menus. 
I wish I could just say garbage can and have it pop up. I feel like it's down here somewhere. It always is. There's usually like seven garbage cans all lined up. Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, I, I'll do you one better. Here. Boom. Shopping cart. I couldn't find a garbage can, but shopping carts are very versatile. The reason I chose it was because you can dump your trash in it, but also capitalism. Tom Nook. It's a pretty good, you know, pretty good compromise there. I couldn't find anything else. I'm sorry. But hey, you did great, Bagel. It was awesome. Thank you. No, thank you. For letting me play. Yes, of course. Thank you for playing. All right. So we will reset for the next designer who will start on the interior of the house. I forget a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Where's the app? Here it is. If you would like to be a designer, go ahead and do exclamation mark TTS. These roll in a little bit. Or TTS exclamation. Sorry. Sorry. It's TTS then the punctuation. First designer sets the tone. Okay. Got a couple more roll in. We'll choose. All right. Here we go. I will go ahead and give you a voice and then... Put the name of our new designer. Okay. We're calling upon our next designer. Who is... Cheesy Tay-Tay. All right. Cheesy. Like I said, you're setting the tone for this this whole room, okay? Blank canvas, Tom Nook, final boss of this competition. One of the judges of this very Hi. competition. Hello. Are you ready to design Tom Nook's house? Don't answer that because I'm just going to start the timer. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, you have five minutes. Five minutes to fill this home with everything Tom Nook loves. Make room larger. Make room larger. I can do that. Let's go ahead and do the classic eight by eight. All right. Cabin wallpaper and dark wood flooring. Okay. All right. Good choices. Cabin wallpaper. Cabin wallpaper. Do I have cabin wallpaper? Is there cabin wallpaper? I can do... Oh, yeah, it's this. Sorry. And then uh, the... A section off bathroom. Good call. Dark wood flooring. I can do this one. There's also dark block flooring. Uh, and then a sectioned off bathroom. Go ahead and bring back the walls. I like the walls. So we'll section off the bathroom. I'm 
hopeful. Hopeful that this. Yeah, that looks good. Thanks. Gold toily. Gold toily coming up. Let's try and get some pillars here so I can make the walls look a little bit nicer on the edges. I mean, the gold toilet for Tom is a good call. Let's be real. All right, we'll put that right in the center for now. Okay, so far, so good. <laughs> Toliet. Small trash can in bathroom and the vent fan on wall. All right, so small trash can. I've screwed this up before. Oh, wait a minute. I found them. Where'd they go? I saw them and I hopped away too fast. Don't worry. I will find the trash can this time. I'm sorry. I can't find the trash can. Okay, here we go. Small trash can, you said. I think you said. And then... You want the ventilation as well. I'll put it right there. Small trash can in the bathroom. Vent fan on the wall. Okay. We're putting a lot of work into the bathroom here, which is good. Um, always good to have a bathroom. And a nice one at that. I see that you want a shower stall. Shower stall. All right, let's get bell a shower rug. stall. Bell rug. I like the bell rug. It's a good item. Go ahead and put that like right here at the entrance. All right, minute left. What else we got? Let's see here. All right. So you want gold furniture. Gold furniture. Okay. Gold furniture. I got you. Go ahead and make a little gold furniture living room here. Oh, he's going to love this. Let's see a chandelier as well. Okay, this just got amped up. All right. Looks like that is time okay chandelier gold oh, bars gold bars we missed the gold bars but i did get you your chandelier this is great this is a really strong start another designer is now going to come in and finish the job cheesy tete thank you so much uh it was an honor okay one final opportunity for a designer to step in, take this thing all the way. Okay. The app is now live again. TTS exclamation point. If you would like to be the final designer for Tom Nook. Come in for a sec here. I'm excited to see what happens. All right, I'm gonna hit the button. All 
Okay. We have our next designer. Our next designer is... Angelic. Angelic! You're gonna help us finish up Tom's house once and for all. This is gonna be a big job. Your previous designer left in a pretty good state, I would say. So hopefully this will be an easy, clean sweep for you. Are you ready for me to start the timer? Let's see, make sure they're here. Uh-oh. Give them another minute. Angelic, are you here? We might need a new final designer for Tom Nook. Okay. I'll pick again. <laughs> Didn't see their chat to enter. It it might have taken this thing's been so confused. It might have taken an older like that that person might not be here anymore. Which is really frustrating because this app is like so confusing. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we have a, a new new designer. Jen Johnson, are you here? Here, let's see. We'll call them up. Jen Johnson, Jen Johnson, your your presence is requested. Here we go. Are you ready, Jen? Are you ready to help Tom Nook have the perfect vacation home? I see that you're here. I'm just waiting for the text to speech to. We might have broken it. I might have to. <laughs> it's not. Oh boy, it's doing it again. It's broken. Hold on. This is a test message. All right, one more time, Jen. See if that works. Sorry. Sorry. It's sorry it's so confusing and broken. Okay, Jen said hi. You're gonna read it? Hi. Hey! Alright, cool. Jen! I'm gonna start your timer. You'll help us finish up Tom Nook's house. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Your time has started! Here we go. What's first? All right. Flowers. Flowers. I can do flowers. think. Where am I going to find flowers? I mean, I could take these flowers. They're just kind of someone like chopped up or there's probably, there's probably some kind of better flower arrangement we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do, how about the flower stand? That's a lot of flowers. This alone is like a ton of flowers. Any tabletop flowers? Oh, yeah, what about this? Oops.
Needs windows. Needs windows. Uh, it has windows. Needs windows. Um, I don't think I can add more windows. Can I? I could, uh, you can't hear the Texas speech? I can hear it. It's cutting in and out. Audio keeps cutting in and out in regular short intervals. I see never mind on the uh, windows. Never mind. TV. TV. Okay. I have a wall mounted TV. Put that up here. All right. We got a TV. After refreshing, it was fine. Yeah, you guys might have to refresh then. Sorry. Okay. All right. Let's try and find that bed for B A big bed. Dreaser. Big bed and a dresser. Ooh, why don't we do the elegant bed? Because it's gold. And uh, a dresser, you said, as well. Okay, we have the dresser over here. Do you want me to just kind of, like, move this to the... What is What would be the bedroom? It's probably a better arrangement. We could do that to leave room to get into the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Where is this? Oh, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Why does it do that? And a hamster. One hamster. Sure. One hamster coming up once I find it again. I just saw the hamster. Let me go up here and then let me scroll down. Scroll down. It must be in here somewhere. Yes. So we can put that on the dresser with the flowers. Safe with money. Oh. Bags of bells. Yes. Okay. I'm going to get the bags of bells because that's easy. Okay. So let me throw down some bags of bells. And then let me got to find the safe with money somehow. This one's making me nervous because I don't know if I'm going to find it in time. Wait, 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 wait. We got it. We got it. Safe. I'll make it gold. And then. Mushroom pizza. What? And fries. I'm sorry. What? Mushroom pizza and fries? There's no time. Where is that? Um. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I see seafood, fruit, mushroom pizza. I don't know where the fries are, but here is. I'm going to put that on the safe, and there it is. There's our time. <laughs> Okay, excellent work. The, with the money and the pizza, like perfect, perfect cherry on top. <laughs> Jen, thank you so much. It was an honor having you as the final designer. All right, now we need to see if this is going to pass the sniff test with the judges. I think Tom Nook is going to be very surprised that he's getting a vacation home. And I think uh, I, I think all of them are going to have some some lovely things to say, honestly. Outside was what? We put... Let me go back outside. Okay, yes, it was a shopping cart to put trash in. All right, places to sit, read, fences to keep people safe. And then inside. All right. We got this. Judges. 
it is time for us to evaluate the final home of the day. And this home belongs to none other than Tom Nook, one of your very own judges. So here we go. On the outside of this house, we have places to sit, things to read. We have vines and we have rivers and waterfalls. But don't worry. We have fences surrounding the entire property so nobody can fall in these very dangerous rivers and waterfalls. Safety first at Tom Nook's house. Inside, you are greeted by a majestic entrance with a bell bag rug, a golden chandelier. On your left, a golden seating area. Yes, golden furniture. On your right, gorgeous flowers. Bags of money all over the place, but organized in a nice fashion. A golden safe with who knows what riches inside, and even a mushroom pizza, keeping the safe warm. The bedroom features a golden bed, a golden dresser, some more flowers, and a pet hamster, which looks, by the way, very well fed and watered. And then the bathroom is completely exclusive, very private. It features a trash can, ventilation, a golden toilet, and even a shower stall for hygiene. Yes, Tom Nook's Vacation Home is our designer's best work yet. But really, that's your call to make. What do you think, judges? Here we go. Tom Nook will be the first one to judge his own vacation home. Did you impress him? Here we go. Well, well. Golden furniture and a safety-first approach, you say? Interesting indeed. Truth be told, it does strike me as a tastefully extravagant dwelling. Yes, yes. I bet it does. Outdoor sitting spaces and the presence of books create a welcoming atmosphere. I appreciate the thoughtful placement of fences around potentially dangerous zones. The golden theme, while it might ring a little over the top to some, <laughs> actually speaks of luxury. The pet hamster's inclusion offers a comfy household touch, yes. not to forget the presence of money bags, which could surely attract potential buyers. Exquisite! The private bathroom, <laughs> complete with a trash can and ventilation, is just the icing on the top. Ho ho! However, <laughs> the presence of a pizza near a safe is a tad quirky. Might confuse some on my end. Nevertheless, considering the overall opulence, craftsmanship, and the potential resale value, I'd score this dwelling a perfect 10. Now, where did I put that pizza slice? Oh, and Digby Lottie, you two are looking particularly scrumptious today. Yes, yes. Wow. Unbelievable. A perfect 10 from Tom Nook out of the gate. We still have two more judges. This might be it. We might have cracked it. All right, here we go. Digby's next. Don't get too excited. Digby doesn't really like Tom today. Well, well, Tom, you've certainly made an effort here. Outside appears safe with fencing around the water, but section D26 of the safety manual stipulates that rivers close to residential structures require life buoys or other flotation devices within reach for emergencies. Come on. A potential violation here. In a river? Inside, the golden chandelier could potentially be a fire risk breach, regulation 4B, owing to its close proximity to the furniture. Also, the presence of a mushroom pizza near the safe raises several hygienic and food safety concerns. That's a potential infraction 2A, unsanitary food placement. Of course. Not seeing a smoke detector either. Requirement 6C in the safety manual. Big no, no, but the private bathroom and ventilation, that's good. Having a trash can further indicates tidy cleanliness habits. Yes. Factoring in these safety concerns, I'm afraid I'd have only a 4.7 for Mr. Nook's home. Now, Mr. Nook, I mean no disrespect. My motive is purely professional and safety oriented as my suddenly activated gut can confirm. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have had that pizza, excuse me. <laughs> okay, Digby's off. One more judge remains. 4.7. Golden go. furniture and safety measures, quite the combination. The outdoor area does sound captivating with a beautiful reading spot amidst nature. Yes. However, Digby dear, you've overlooked the inherent problem of golden furniture. 
It contributes to a visually overwhelming statement <laughs> that could deter potential house owners. Not Nook. Plus, it's uncomfortable. Ever tried <laughs> sitting on a golden couch? Yikes! The mushroom pizza near the safe is an odd placement. It raises concerns about attracting pests. <laughs> As for the golden bathroom, it does pique my interest due to the attention to privacy, ventilation, and even planned waste disposal. Nonetheless, is it gold all over? Not everyone's cup of tea, you see. After considering these factors, I'd give this home a 7.4. Okay. The safety measurements and segregating spaces are commendable, but the extensive use of golden elements might limit its appeal. Now, speaking of golden, I wonder if this rash cream comes in any glitzier packaging. It's doing nothing for my chicken pox, I tell you. How unsightly. There we go. What does this mean for the scores, though? We have Tom Nook's score. A perfect 10 for his own vacation home. I mean, why not, right? We have Digby's score of 4.7. And Lottie. Lottie coming in. With a 7.4. Does it mean that Tom Nook is taking home the prize? Well, let me do some math. That is a total score of 22.1 which freaking means that yes you did it Tom Nook's home blew him away brought up the score dramatically and you managed to crack 20 points in this competition of course some might argue you cheated building a home for Tom Nook but I'm not one to do that congratulations 22.1 Nicely done, everybody. Wow. Unbelievable. Maybe we should get a final word from our judges, right? We should we should let them know that, that Tom Nook's home won and get their final thoughts. I never took a picture. A name. <laughs> um, winner. This is the winner theme. There it is. Quack. All right. We need to we need to get out of here. We need to give our judges one final chance to you know, tell us how they feel about the final score. Let me collect my 30,000 pokey though. Heck yes. Just, you're just going to have to capture the clip of me saying quack. All right. Here we go. Let me make sure I have the scores for them. Hey, judges, listen. That was it. Those were all the homes. And it looks like with all of your scores, you awarded Tom Nook the victory in this competition. The designers for Tom Nook are over the moon. 22.1 points in total for Tom. Hey, how did you feel about the competition as a whole and all of the different contestants and your fellow judges? Okay, let's see what they have to say. I'm curious. I'm curious what they, uh, what they thought of, of today's competition. Ah, what a diverse range of dwellings we've explored. Yes, yes, each one with its unique charm and peculiar quirks. Quite a fine showcase of the creativity of the designers. 
As for our esteemed colleagues, Digby and Lottie, their perspectives were certainly, well, flavorful, shall we say. <laughs> Quite add to my appetite, I might add. Ho ho. While there were varying degrees of attention to details, some designs undoubtedly fell short in catering to the potential market, something that can affect the resale value. But it's all in the name of progress and learning. Yes, yes. So here's to even more tackling such endeavors head on and to more scrumptious discussions with Digby and Lottie. Ho, ho. <laughs> I don't think Tom should hang out with Digby or Lottie anymore. <laughs> Lottie and Digby screaming. <laughs> Well, as a newcomer to the world of judging vacation homes, I must admit this whole competition was a whirlwind of an experience. From unexpected layouts to dazzling designs, each contestant presented a unique vision of a vacation haven. Navigating through the multitude of safety concerns sure did keep me on my toes. And speaking of which, I wish I could be as light on them as Tom Nook. But my duty as a safety <laughs> inspector often had me see some of his fortune tellers as hazard enablers. No offense, Mr. Nook, and, uh, congratulations. Overall, the competition sure was a learning experience, especially from our fellow Judge Lottie, whose design perspectives were as, um, refreshing as that recent bout of canine diarrhea I experienced. Oh boy, I think I feel another wave coming on. Excuse me. Digby, no! No! <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. I, jeez. <laughs> oh, this competition was certainly an adventure, wasn't it? Such a medley of design approaches, some delightful and others, well, let's just say unorthodox. Meeting everyone's unique preferences sure did stretch the limits of creativity. Not too dissimilar to when Mr. Smith insisted on a moated kitchen. As for our esteemed judges, Digby and Tom Nook, their perspective certainly added some spice to the event. <laughs> Not that Digby's paranoid safety concerns didn't make things interesting. It was amusing watching him fret over trivial details. It nearly distracted me from this continuous itch, nearly. Well, here's to more such design extravaganzas, hopefully minus the chicken pox next time. <sighs> I... I'm so sorry. They they're they're completely out of line, all three of them. Tom, stop trying to eat your fellow judges. Digby, go see a doctor. Lottie, for goodness sake, find something for those chicken pox. Sometimes you just have to be firm. You have to just tell them, like, enough is enough. Ho, ho! You're absolutely right, my friend. I must say, our little group here has been quite the entertaining trio. Yes, yes! And fear not, my culinary observations are just for a little lighthearted banter. Now then, back you. to the business at hand, ensuring the utmost fairness and care to choose our winners. Or... I don't trust a word he just said. Did you see how he put on a whole different face for that? He's like, ho, oh, ho, just kidding, joking! Uh... I don't buy it. Oh, indeed. Well, Mr. Nook, while I cannot offer professional dietary advice, I would suggest perhaps a nice bone would be more appetizing. Excuse or me? Or so says my canine instincts. Ho, ho! As for my own state, I assure you it's not as dire as it might seem. Safety inspections require a certain tolerance for high-risk situations. It comes with the territory. Now, as for your concerns, Lottie, oh, I do hope your chicken pox get better soon. And I wholeheartedly agree. Next time, let's try for less diseases and more comfort. Yes, indeed. Excuse me, I think I need to... Well, you know... Digby, uh, why would you... Okay. Oh, dear Tom. Eating fellow judges is quite out of line. Yeah. And Digby, while I second Tom's recommendation about seeing a doctor... I must point out that turning each discomfort into a violation of some sort isn't going to help either. Now, as for me, these chicken pox spots are terribly itchy, but the yucky cream isn't offering any relief <laughs> at all. Unpleasant as it might be, let's not let it distract us from our judging duties, shall we? Now, on to our first house. 
All right, Lottie's a bit confused. But that's par for the course for Lottie today. She showed up to the completely wrong house earlier. Um, all right, so you've heard from the judges. We we picked a winner. It was Tom Nook. It was completely rigged. Um, thank you all for hanging out. It was fun. Uh, I'll be back soon. We'll do some stuff. This was a lot. This was a lot to set up, and uh, things broke, but we managed to get through, so that's good. I can only test things so much. Just having them live, is that's the real test, so uh, I'm going to see if I can fix the text-to-speech app for next time. Um, but cool. Thank you guys for participating. That was a lot of fun. I, I, I put a lot of pressure on you to perform, and you did a great job. And, and look at that. You impressed the judges, too, I think. They're all, um, they all seem really distracted. <laughs> I think this was getting in the way of like other things they would rather be doing, but that's okay. Um, thanks everyone. It was fun. Uh, let's see what's going on here. And we have Blaine playing Stardew Valley. I've been, I've been cranking up the starting music for this entire stream so you'll definitely want to go hang out for this raid we're gonna raid blaine bewick first ever farm i think I, I think first farm meaning like he's completely new to stardew which is unreal such a good game so you'll be redirected when you get over there you could say say why is the stream lagging um let's see we'll say your farm is a mess that's what you say when you go over there your farm is a mess you just copy and paste that if you want just once when you go over there thanks everyone have a great rest of your uh, day evening whatever it might be and we'll see you maybe over the weekend maybe not i don't know we'll catch you later bye everybody